Welcome one and all to Rupp Arena as the Bears face the Evangel Christian Eagles. Am I correct That's, in saying that, that is, Jonah? That is correct. Jonah Swift, Coach Mark Allen, Brady Jones here with you on the call tonight for this historic game. Very historic. To say the least. Now, Coach, you'll go through some of the history of uh, some different things of, of Evangel Christian stats and all of that in a second. But let me just tell you, one, I'm excited to be here. It's an honor to, for me to be here, guys, and to be here with you all. I'm glad I got to be here. Two, looking around us. Oh, my goodness. All of Butler County is here and more. Guys, it is a sea of blue. Kind of looks like a U.K. home game Listen, to me. It does. Both, both teams wearing the blue and white, Brady, uh, but definitely on this side behind us. I mean, I would, it wouldn't be so, uh, over 50% of the county is definitely here in Rupp Arena right now. And Edmondson County actually brought a bus, so a lot of Edmondson County fans here yes. as well. Uh, but I want to give a quick shout-out to uh, Rob, I believe was his name. Tech support was a great help on the Wi-Fi side of things. Uh, exactly. Just a, a big shout-out to everybody who's uh, shown us our way here in Rupp Arena. They've been very uh, hospitable to us, and we appreciate that. You're listening to the Morgantown Bank and Trust pregame show. Coach, we're going to go ahead and let you turn you loose on some histor history about Evangel Christian, some things we're looking at this game. If you want to throw in a few uh, uh, keys to the game brought to you by Delta Fawcett, you can go ahead. Thank you, Brady. And again, Brady, Jonah, it, it is a privilege to be here with you guys today. Uh, again, Evangel Christian Academy, folks, Region 6 champion uh, out of a suburb of Louisville, Kentucky. They became a high school in 1976, joined the KHSAA. Uh, I'm not being sarcastic, Jonah, but it feels to me like a travel team became a high school. It does. It feels a lot like that, Coach. It uh, So quickly, we'll run through it. Folks, we'll give you some kind of idea of what the Bears are going up against. Uh, some of the history of Evangel Christian. Evangel Christian also their first trip to the Sweet 16 ever. They beat Louisville Fairdale in the Region 6 championship game. Again, Evangel Christian is a private school, enrollment only 37 kids. They offer only one boy sport in the school, and that is varsity basketball, JV, and freshman. Last year, Evangel Christian won the All-A State Championship in the 22-23 season, going 29-5. Uh, they had a they had a young man last year by the name of Sai Manlangaga, who's 6'11 senior, Republic of Congo. He's playing college ball at East Carolina University. Uh, travel again, obviously Jonah, uh, money's no object. Uh, two years ago in the 21-22 season, their itinerary they had holiday Christmas tournaments at Chicago, Illinois, Las Vegas, Nevada, and Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Uh, in 2018, though, a little bit of history. Uh, thank you to Athletic Director Brandon Embry. In 2018, guys, on December 17th, Butler County and Evangel Christian played each other. Wow. <laughs> Coach Dockery was in his uh, probably oh, probably fourth or fifth year at Butler. Uh, Butler County went to Evangel Christian and beat Evangel Christian 71-60. to So a little bit of history there. Again, that's the 2018 season. Uh, but, again, uh, we're going up against a lot of size and strength. Uh, and 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 we'll talk about that. But again, uh, they uh, they uh, they are just they 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 were built for this. Uh, again, they uh, and they had a tough road. They have been ranked in the top ten, folks. Uh, and sometimes we don't keep up with it. We fell out of the top 25 after the King of the Bluegrass. But uh, this Evangel Christian team has been ranked in the top ten weekly ever since that Monday after Thanksgiving, the first week of the season. So, uh, again, uh, what seems to be a lot of athleticism, a lot of size, uh, but at the same time, Butler County has earned the right to be here. Uh, Evangel Christian is going to try to get after us. I'm sure they're going to try to completely lock down Ty Price. Evangel Christian is only allowing 56 points per game, right. which certainly does not fit our mode. So uh, I'm looking for Evangel Christian to come out and uh, really – size us up and try to put pressure on us. That's what the, the Louisville Fairdale coach in the regional championship said that we've never had anybody get after us physically like they did. Evangel Christian jumped out to a 15 to 2 run in the regional championship and never looked back. Right. And and, and you, you mentioned going on runs, coach. We were talking pregame. A big thing, my Delta Fox key to the game, guys. Uh, Bears got to control the first four minutes of the first quarter and the first four minutes of the third quarter. Uh, 
coming out and getting that momentum. The, the, you got to take advantage of this crowd. Right now, the, it's no secret half of this arena is uh, Butler County blue. So if they can get out and if the Bears can just get that, that small lead to start, Coach, get that momentum behind them, uh, then they can really settle in. It's really going to come down to who can settle in. There's jitters on both sides of this uh, game. Uh, That's right. Uh, obviously, first time the Bears are, have ever made it to the state tournament. So uh, obviously, they're thinking about that. But once you get past those first couple of minutes, Coach, uh, it becomes just any other basketball game for the Bears. And I think that they got to approach it like that and uh, just uh, take on this team. It's a good team. You can't underestimate every single one of them because uh, you look at them, Coach, and it's easy to see the 6'8", the uh, or I believe they're both 6'8", the centers, uh, Dejima and Mukati, and that's where their size is at mostly. But the 6'2 and 6'3 guards of Tilly and Doer uh, are also a mismatch for the Bears too. And, and I've said it uh, all week, Coach. This is the first time I've seen the Bears really uh, – be unmatched uh, in the size category. So it's going to be something that the Bears are going to have to deal with. And I think coming out and really pushing the tempo uh, on the Eagles will be a big help for the Bears today. Brady? You know, I agree. <laughs> I had to step aside, <laughs> greet a few people that had come over to uh, talk to us. Um, but you know, what can you say other than this is just an honor and a privilege for everybody involved to be here. We Guys, we've witnessed history made by the Bears, but by the community too. I've never seen the community come around, you know, a group like they have this Bears team, this cheerleading squad, this band, everybody involved, the community has supported 110%. I mean, it's just been incredible. I'm proud and honored to be a Butler Countyan here tonight. Oh, so am I again. I'm a transplant, but I've lived now in Morgantown longer than I grew up in Franklin, Kentucky. But guys, again, and I think, like you said, Brady, this is history making. Butler County High School became a school 70 years ago. 1953-54 was the first BCHS class. And 70 years later, their first ever historic trip to the UK Healthcare Boys Sweet 16. This is, to me, this is for every basketball coach, player and fan that ever played at Butler County High School. This is a culmination of all of that. And again, this is something, because Brady, you and Jonah are younger, this will mean even more 10, 20 years from now, because we all season long, we have been talking about the 1950s and 60s teams. There were six teams that made it to the regional final, but came up short every time. So certainly, I truly believe that 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now, they will be talking about this Butler County team of 23-24. Exactly right, Coach. That's right. Well, it looks like the Bears are going to go uh, take a break in the locker room, Brady. Tell you what, we're going to take a break. Hear a few words from our sponsors. If you're listening with us, we cannot stream any video of the game. We'll keep you updated as best we can. We'll try to paint a picture with our words, but we cannot show you any video of the game. Can't record it for ourselves, for highlights, anything like that. We've got the scoreboard up, and uh, we'll also repeat the score for those tuning in with us on the radio. Thank you all for who is tuning in with us. I know it's going to be a great game. Lots of the Bears faithful here. But, um, you know, what can you say other than we're just excited? So we're going to take a quick break. Come back nine minutes till the Bears tip off here in the Sweet 16 in Rupp Arena. So from Lexington, Kentucky, stay tuned to listen to the Q101.5, 103.5 WLBQ. Morgantown Bank and Trust knows what being on the home team is all about. Since 1880, Morgantown Bank and Trust has been serving the people of Butler County. And since 1976, we've been a part of every WLBQ broadcast of Butler County High School Athletics. As your only home-owned independent bank, we want to be a pillar of the community. And we work hard every day to give you exceptional professional service from people you know and trust. Good luck, Bears, from Morgantown Bank and Trust. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Before you cheer on your bears, stop by your hometown IGA to get everything you need from an assortment of favorite chips, drinks, and a great selection of meat items, including IGA Choice Angus Beef and an array of your favorite brands of hot dogs and brats. You'll find it all and much more at IGA. Located on South Main Street in Morgantown. Go Bears! 
Your State Farm Insurance agent, Baker Gardner, is ready for another season of VCHS Sports. Baker is also ready to help you with insurance for your home, car, or life. Affordable, reliable insurance from State Farm is backed by one of America's most trusted names. With hometown service always just a phone call away. Good luck, Bears. And remember, like a good neighbor, Baker Gardner is there. Give Baker Gardner and his staff a visit at 219 South Main Street in front of the post office or give them a call at 270-526-5582. Morgantown Bank and Trust knows what being on the home team is all about. Since 1880, Morgantown Bank and Trust has been serving the people of Butler County. And since 1976, we've been a part of every WLBQ broadcast of Butler County High School Athletics. As your only home-owned independent bank, we want to be a pillar of the community. And we work hard every day to give you exceptional, professional service from people you know and trust. Good luck, Bears, from Morgantown Bank and Trust. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Has your car been damaged by a deer, ditch, or distracted driver? If so, Chad's Record Service and Body Shop can help get your car back on the road. The pros at Chad's are licensed and insured and will work with your insurance company to make your car like new again. Chad's also offers 24-hour record service, so when the unexpected happens, you won't be stranded on the side of the road. Call Chad's for a free estimate at 270-526-4005. And remember to request Chad's the next time you need a tow. Parkway Cars and Tires is your low price leader in this area. If you find a better price, let us know and we'll beat it. That's simple. Our over 30 years of experience and multiple distributors allow us to be your number one tire store in the area. We always give free rotation and balancing on every purchase. Not only tires, but we do brakes, alignments, and much more for all your service needs. As always, honesty is our policy. Schedule an appointment at 270-526-5732. Thank you and God bless. For more than 50 years, the Farm Boy has been a staple of the Morgantown community. Not only is it the premier spot for down-home country cooking, but it's the best place to catch up on all the local happenings with good friends and family. Daily specials are always available, including all-you-can-eat Catfish Fridays. If you're looking for the best down-home country-style meal this side of the Green River, visit the Farm Boy today. Located at 635 West G.L. Smith Street in Morgantown, the Farm Boy is now open on Sundays from 5 a.m. to 3 p.m. The athletes aren't the only stars in the Butler County school system. Butler County students excel at everything from bridge building to building rockets. Our bands and choirs are consistently some of the best in the entire state. Graduates from our Advanced Technology Center are ready to join the workforce with in-demand skills. And scholarship awards are at an all-time high for BCHS graduates. The Butler County Board of Education is proud of our students on and off the field and reminds you that they're committed to success one student at a time. The way Bill sees it, people who say a car is just for getting from point A to point B are missing the point entirely. Because for Bill, his car is a reflection of his personality. That's why he takes such good care of that car. And he has Kentucky Farm Bureau take care of his insurance. Because we're not just Kentucky's Farm Bureau. We're Bill's pride and joy Farm Bureau. Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance. Big on commitment. Help keep Butler County beautiful by using the recycling trailers provided by the Butler County Recycling Center. The trailers are conveniently located throughout the county to make recycling easy. Find trailers at Butler County Middle School, Cool Springs Church, 2nd District Fire Department, Kentucky Christian Recovery, Butler County Cooperative Extension Service, Morgantown Mission, and Firehouse Pizza. Let's all do our part to keep Butler County beautiful by using the recycling bins provided by the Butler County Recycling Center. It's easy being green. Reduce, reuse, recycle. When you do, we all win. Morgantown Bank and Trust knows what being on the home team is all about. Since 1880, Morgantown Bank and Trust has been serving the people of Butler County. And since 1976, we've been a part of every WLBQ broadcast of Butler County High School Athletics. As your only home-owned independent bank, we want to be a pillar of the community. And we work hard every day to give you exceptional, professional service from people you know and trust. Good luck, Bears, from Morgantown Bank and Trust. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. 
When you have vending needs, you need to call Double E Vending. They're family owned and locally owned, full service vending company. They established themselves in 1972 to offer their vending services to the community. Whatever vending service is required, Double E has a full line to cover anything you could want. Give them a call at 270-791-5414 to see how they can service you today. 270-791-5414. Double E wants to thank their customers for using them for the last 50 years. The way Bill sees it, people who say a car is just for getting from point A to point B are missing the point entirely. Because for Bill, his car is a reflection of his personality. That's why he takes such good care of that car. And he has Kentucky Farm Bureau take care of his insurance. Because we're not just Kentucky's Farm Bureau. We're Bill's pride and joy Farm Bureau. Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance. Big on commitment. Help keep Butler County beautiful by using the recycling trailers provided by the Butler County Recycling Center. The trailers are conveniently located throughout the county to make recycling easy. Find trailers at Butler County Middle School, Cool Springs Church, 2nd District Fire Department, Kentucky Christian Recovery, Butler County Cooperative Extension Service, Morgantown Mission, and Firehouse Pizza. Let's all do our part to keep Butler County beautiful by using the recycling bins provided by the Butler County Recycling Center. It's easy being green. Reduce, reuse, recycle. When you do, we all win. Morgantown Bank and Trust knows what being on the home team is all about. Since 1880, Morgantown Bank and Trust has been serving the people of Butler County. And since 1976, we've been a part of every WLBQ broadcast of Butler County High School Athletics. As your only home-owned independent bank, we want to be a pillar of the community. And we work hard every day to give you exceptional, professional service from people you know and trust. Good luck, Bears, from Morgantown Bank and Trust. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. When you have vending needs, you need to call Double E Vending. They're family owned and locally owned, full service vending company. They established themselves in 1972 to offer their vending services to the community. Whatever vending service is required, Double E has a full line to cover anything you could want. Give them a call at 270-791-5414 to see how they can service you today. 270-791-5414. Double E wants to thank their customers for using them for the last 50 years. Welcome back to Rub Arena as it is now time for your starting lineups as the Bears are set to face the Evangel Christian Eagles. Jonah, the lights have dimmed. Oh, man. The future is electric. It's blue in here. Very blue. <laughs> Do want to mention we were informed only two people allowed at the broadcast table, so you will, we will be switching in and out with Coach Allen, but you That's only right. hear two of us at a time. Uh, just to clear up any confusion there. But yes, you're right, Brady. They are already getting this atmosphere set up for both teams here. And it looks like it will be Evangel Christian first. They will be the away team uh, on the scoreboard. They will be wearing the blue jerseys for Evangel Christian. Starting number two guard Christian Doer. I believe. Oh, they alternate. They're Staggering, alternating. Yes. An alternating so, starting lineup. So we'll go back and forth as well. Trevor DeWeese for the Bears, number two. Number four for the Evangel Christian Eagles, Ben Mukati. Number 11, Justin Kasslin for the Bears. Number five, 
Kyran Tilly for the Bears, number 15, Briar Griffin. For the Eagles, number 11, Isaiah Chittapaw. For the Bears, number 22, Ty Price. And for the Eagles, number 23, Davier White. And for the Bears, number 24, Lawson Rice, rounding out your starting lineups for each team here. And it's about that time, Brady, for boys' state tournament basketball action. That's right. It's electric. It is. Uh, obviously, once we've said it so many times, first time Bears being here, but uh, obviously I can feel the nerves for both teams already. Uh, so I believe whichever team can come out and uh, get past that feeling uh, early will be the one to take the lead. I tell you what, Jonah, I'm gonna let you go ahead and take call. I'm probably gonna, you're gonna probably gonna end up a call the whole game. Well, we'll see, we'll it. see, we'll see. Uh, as we got a little highlight reel going on here for something. Uh, I believe this might just be for KHS Double A. I, I could be, right. I could be mistaken though. It is advertising the Sweet Sixteen here. As I'm sure everyone can hear it, it's very loud in here. Once again, just big shout out to all, all of the Bears faithful. Uh, this is by far the biggest student section I've ever seen at a Butler County sporting event with the right. band also in front of them. It, it looks electric on that side. Uh, so here we go. Jump ball here, Lawson Rice and Mukati. First tip it off here. A play is going to be brought to you by Morgantown Bank and Trust. And tip is going to go the way of the Eagles. They get ahead to number 23. That's White. White back up top to number two. That's Doer. Doer tries to hand it off instead. Tries to go in between two defenders. Hits the deck and loses it. Bears come away with it. Ty Price. No foul call there, Brady. As Ty Price now going to bring it across for the Bears. Price. They're, they're going to let him play. I, we've seen it so far in the tournament. We have. We watched a little bit of the game before, and it is very physical. As Lawson Rice now on the wing. Driving in against Mukadi. Jump stop. Goes up for two. Can't get it to go. Rebound. Trevor DeWeese. And he gets it to go. Great follow there by Trevor Louise. Two to nothing. Butler County leads Evangel Christian here early in this one. Seven minutes, 20 seconds to go in the Morgantown Baker Trust first quarter of play. And Tilly's got it on the wing. Tilly guarded by Griffin. Gets it over to Mukati. Mukati picked up by Rice. Mukati gets it back to Tilly. Tilly now at the top of the key. Tilly trying to drive in. Stops. Kicks it back out to number two. That's Doer. Doer now at the top of the key. Kicks it over to number 11. That's Chittapa. He kicks it back outside to White for three. No good. Rebound, Lawson Rice. Rice over to Ty Price. Ty Price going to push the tempo here for the Bears. Drives in. Step back. Gives it back out to Lawson Rice for three. Can't get it to go. Rebound. Chase down. And they're going to get Trevor DeWeese already with an over and back call. As uh, he was being... He was being a little aggressive there on the boards, Brady, but uh, we said this all game in the regional championship. Uh, Trevor Dewey's on the boards, picked up three over the back fouls, but you can't tell him to stop being aggressive on the boards. He was a big reason that we won that game, so keep doing what you're doing. As Tilly goes up for a jump shot, blocked by Rice into the hands of Mukati. Mukati goes up for two, and he's just going to play bully ball down there and get the lay in to go. Two to two now, six minutes and 30 seconds to go. Bears ball here in the Morgantown Baker Trust first quarter play. Top Rice now. We're going to walk it across here, get the screen from Rice. Drives in, cradles, step back, fade away from the elbow, gets it to go. Good shot there from Ty Price, four to two now. Six minutes to go now. Tilly brings it across for the Eagles. Tilly at the top of the key. Hands it off to Doer. Doer, jump stop, tries to get it inside, stolen by Dewees into the hands of Rice. He gets it over to Price. Great defense so far by the Bears as Price now brings it across. Price on the wing, tries to put on the dribble moves, can't shake the defender. Kicks it outside to Castlin for three. Can't get it to go. Rebound tipped around into the hands of number 23. That's White for the Eagles. He'll hand it off to number 11, to Chitapa, who gets it ahead to Doer in the corner to White. White in the corner, back over to Chitapa on the wing. Chitapa gets it back up top to Tilly. Tilly guarded by Briar Griffin within an arm's length. All the way down the court, he gets it over to Doer. Doer's picked up by Justin Castlin. He gets a screen from Mukati. Great screen from Mukati. Who Tilly kicks it back outside to Chitapa for three, and he gets it to go. Evangel Christian with their first lead of the game, five to four, with five minutes and 20 seconds to go here in the Morgantown Bank and Trust. First quarter play, Ty Price going to slow it down here on the wing. Picked up by Chitapa. 
He's giving him some trouble. Gets a screen from Briar Griffin. Drives to the wing. Kicks it back over to Griffin. Griffin drives in. Kicks it out to Deweese. Deweese drives in. He kicks it out to Castlin. Castlin will drive. Tied up. Puts up a shot. No good. Rebound Mukati. Mukati over to Tilly. Tilly trying to push the tempo here. And Briar Griffin's just going to reach around there. Pick up a foul there. And Brady, we knew this coming in. It's just tough for the Bears to get anything going on the inside right now as Dajima going to check in for Mukati. I'm assuming we're going to start seeing a pattern of that every few minutes, seeing that switch take place. He's now number 23. That's White. Puts up the shot. It's good. It was a two-pointer, though. Seven to four. Four minutes, 50 seconds to go here. Ty Price walking it across for the Bears. Bears got to find something on the half-court offense here. As Ty Price brings it across. Chitapa giving him all kinds of trouble up top. He's doing a great job following Ty Price around as Price now drives to the wing. He'll fire a contested three-pointer. No good. Rebound to Chitapa. Tries to get it over to Doer, and he does. Doer now brings it across. He's on the wing. Crosses up. Castlin drives baseline. Kicks it out to White for three in the corner, and he gets it to go. And Evangel Christian right now in firm control of the Bears. Ten to four. The Eagles lead four minutes to go now in the Morgantown Baker Trust first quarter play. Ty Price brings it across, gives it to Lawson Rice on the elbow. Rice hands it back off to Price. Price trying to drive baseline, can't create anything. Gets it off to Lawson Rice. Great dish there by Ty Price. Lawson Rice with an easy lay in there. Six to ten now, under four minutes to go here. Tilly walking it across against Briar Griffin. Bears sticking to the man-to-man -man defense right now as they get it over to Doer on the wing. Doer to Tilly on the opposite wing. Tilly gets a screen from Jajima. Fires the three from the top of the key. Can't get it to go. Rebound, Trevor DeWeese over to Ty Price. Ty Price ahead to Briar Griffin. Griffin drives in, goes baseline, kicks it out to DeWeese for three, and he gets it to go. A huge Kentucky Farm Bureau agent, Bobby Smith, three-pointer for Trevor DeWeese. Nine to 10 now, but the Eagles already on the other side. Doer with a jump shot from the free throw line, and he gets it to go, silencing the Butler County crowd. 12 to nine now, Bears trailing. Three minutes, 20 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Ty Price going to walk it across once again. Chitapa once again playing that tough defense on Ty Price. Price gets it over to Lawson Rice on the wing. Back over to Price on the opposite wing. Ty Price, one dribble. Gets him to jump. Terrible looking shot there as there was great defense by Chitapa. Rebound goes to the way of the Eagles. Chitapa now driving in. Goes up for two against DeWeese and gets it to go. 14-9 to now. Bears trailing. Ty Price brings it across once again. Under three minutes to go now. Ty Price walks it across. A lot of standing by the guys not on the ball right now by the Bears. Got to get people moving as they get it to Castlin on the wing. Castlin in the corner to Deweese. Deweese throws it up top to Rice. And Rice is going to be held by Dajima. That will be Evangel Christian's first foul. Bears will be set to inbound under their own basket here. As Brady, like you said, Mukati coming back in for Dajima. And number three, Trice. Checking in as we got a timeout here. A full timeout taken by one of the teams. I didn't see which one. Brady, we'll keep it right here. Uh, it's going to be on Butler County. I first believe. couple of minutes here in uh, the Bears' first trip, 9 to 14. Uh, but one thing the, the Eagles are doing great, Brady, is they're answering any kind of momentum that the Bears have been able to create. Right. We said in the pregame show uh, the momentum was going to be a huge thing, and the Bears were going to have to take advantage of this crowd. But a big shout-out to all of the eventual Christian players. Uh, they're not letting that get to them at all, and they're going down, and they're getting to their spots, and they're taking the open looks, Brady. That's right. Nothing to add to that? Not really. I'm just uh, trying to make sure I keep up with stats. It's a fast-paced game. We're it is already a seeing fast-paced game. A little bit more scoring, in my opinion, than what uh, Evangel usually gives up in the first quarter, um, just statistically. So, and we and we knew coming in, Brady. Uh, we got to watch the Harlan County Warren Central game before this. That's right. Very tough matchup, and all the matchups in the state tournament are always low scoring. Uh, but right now, both teams scoring at will, and I think that if the Bears, uh, they just got to get that half court offense down. That's going to be my next key to the game. That's right. Uh, they got to find that open shot whenever Evangel Christian slows them down. We can't win this game off of only transition points. Uh, so the Bears definitely got to draw up some plays here, uh, get people moving around, and. Uh, Hopefully try to get that inside working. I know it's going to be tough with Mukadi and Dejima down there, uh, but the Bears are going to have to find a way to get people active on the blocks. As now Bears set to inbound here once again here in the first quarter play brought to you by Morgantown Baker Trust. Two minutes, 38 seconds to go here. Bears set to inbound under their own basket. 9-14, to 
Bears trailing, and Briar Griffin set the inbound, throws it up to Lawson Rice. Rice trying to hit Price on the cut, unsuccessful, hands it off to Deweese at the top of the key. Deweese hands it off to Price. Price now drives in, kicks it over to Rice. Rice on the take is going to draw a foul on Mukati. That'll send Lawson Rice to the free throw line, and Dejima already set to check in for Mukati. That's another thing too, Brady. Anytime we've seen the Bears take on a team that had a, a guy who could size up with Lawson Rice, Lawson Rice does a good job going into him, getting him in foul trouble. Whenever you got two guys out there, it's a lot harder to draw 10 fouls than five as Lawson Rice knocks down the first final finish free throw at the final finish free throw line. As once again, Dejima does check in for Mukati. 10 to 14, two minutes, 28 seconds to go here in the Morgantown Bacon Trust first quarter play. Lawson Rice with one more shot at the final finish free throw line. And Lawson Rice connects. 11 to 14, Bears trail by three. Tilly going to bring it across for the Eagles. Tilly gets it over to Doer. Doer drives in, step back, decides to drive this time, kicks it out to Chitapa. Chitapa gets it to Weeze, jumping, goes in for the floater. No good, rebound. Tipped around to the hands of Dejima. He gets it out to Tilly on the wing. Tilly pulls it back out, set up the offense, gets it over to Chitapa in the corner. Chitapa hands it back off to Tilly. Tilly on the wing. Evangel Christian in no rush, Brady. They love to run this half-court offense. That's right. As they hand it off to number three, that is Trice. Trice hands it off to Doer. Doer fires the wide open three. No good. Rebound, Ty Price. And a big opportunity here for the Bears under two minutes to go as Ty Price now drives in, goes up for two, and he gets it to go. Great drive there by Ty Price. 13 to 14. Bears only trailing by one here. A minute, 40 seconds to go here as Doer. He'll bring it across this time for the Eagles. Doer sizing up against Justin Castlin. Bears sticking to that man-to-man -man defense. He hands it off to Trice. Trice being picked up by Price. Hands it off to Tat or Tilly. Excuse me. Tilly now driving in. Goes up for a floater and gets it to go. Tough bucket there from Tilly. 16 to 13 now. Ty Price works it way ahead to Castlin. Stolen by Tilly, however. Tilly gets it ahead to Trice. Trice now pushing the tempo. Trice pulls it back out. He's going to step up, threaten to shoot. Instead kicks it back out to Chitapa, who gets it over to Doer. A minute to go now in the Morgantown Bank of Trust first quarter of play. And Doer gets it over to Chitapa. Wants to get it in to Dejima. Is unsuccessful. Instead gets it out to Tilly. Out to Doer on the wing. Doer back up top to Trice for three. Can't get it to go. Rebound though. Goes the way of the Bears. They get it ahead to Price. Back to Castlin. Castlin brings it across. Back to Price. Price on the wing. Drives baseline. Picks it up. Kicks it out to Griffin. Wide open look at three. Can't get it to go. Rebound to Chitapa. Chitapa now on the fast break. Goes up for two, blocked by Rice! And they're gonna get Rice for a foul call. I thought it was clean for a second, Brady. Lawson Rice, as you hear the swirl of boos, there was a lot of body on that, uh, but it seemed like a little bit of a late whistle to me, Brady. Uh, either way, that will send number 11, Chitapa to the line for the Evangel Christian Eagles. 13 to 16, if you're just joining us, Bears trailing by three. 32 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Chitapa is good on the first, makes it 17-13. As White checks back in. Number five, Tilly gonna have a seat for the Eagles here. Chitapa now, set for his second free throw attempt. It goes up and it is good. 18 to 13, 30 seconds to go here. I wouldn't mind seeing the Bears Trying to burn some clock here as the Eagles bring a little bit of a press defense here. Giving Ty Price some trouble here. He gets it over to Griffin, though. Griffin now. Griffin drives in to the lane. Goes up for two and gets the lane to go there. Great attack from Briar Griffin. 15 to 18 now. To Tapa, though, he's going to push the tempo for the Eagles. Gets it inside to Jajima. Sizes up Rice. Goes up for two. Stolen by Rice. Great defense by Lawson Rice as he hands it off to Ty Price. And Ty Price will bring it across here. Price now. Drives in, pulls it back out, hands it off to Rice, and they can't get a shot off in time. Weren't looking at the clock there. But Brady, either way, 18 to 15. The Bears hanging with the Evangel Christian Eagles so far in the first one, only trailing by three. Keep it right here on WLQ. We'll be right back for the second quarter of play. Brought to you by Chad's Body Shop and Record Service. Has your car been damaged by a deer, ditch, or distracted driver? If so, Chad's Record Service and Body Shop can help get your car back on the road. The pros at Chad's are licensed and insured and will work with your insurance company to make your car like new again. Chad's also offers 24-hour record service, so when the unexpected happens, you won't be stranded on the side of the road. Call Chad's for a free estimate at 270-526-4005. And remember to request Chad's the next time you need a tow.
Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Rupp Arena. And we've made the switch out. Brady Jones having a seat. And Coach Allen now on the headset. Coach Allen, what are just some things that you saw uh, from just the naked eye over there watching this game so far? Well, I thought great composure. Both teams are shooting high percentage. Uh, again, they, they are definitely letting them play. Uh, we're, we're seeing a lot of body contact uh, on both sides. That, and that's a good thing that, that the officials are letting them play. The guys know early in the first quarter exactly how you can play. Uh, Lawson Rice is doing a great job. I tell you what, now again, and I'm not, I know how people can write things in programs. If if Makata and the Gemma are 6'8, Lawson Rice is 6'8. Uh, and I noticed that they're right off the tip off. But that that's was, okay. That was a big thing. Even though he got that foul call on that block, Coach, a great oh. momentum shifter for the Bears. And they're hanging oh. with them right now, Coach. 15 to 18, if you're just joining us, Bears trailing by three. They will begin with the ball here in the second quarter play, brought to you by Chad's Body Shop and Record Service. Ty Price. We're going to bring it across. Sized up by Doer now. He gets it over to Lawson Rice at the top of the key. Hands it off to Castlin on the wing. Castlin back to Rice on the wing. Rice now down to Griffin on the baseline. Griffin bounce pass to Castlin on the cut. Great cut by Castlin. 17 to 18 now. Great job by Justin. Bears got to find an answer on the defensive end. However, 18 to 17, like we just said, seven minutes, 30 seconds to go here as Tilly brings it across. Bears sticking to the man to man defense. Tilly now drives in, jump shot from the elbow, can't get it to go, rebound, top price, big opportunity for the Bears. That's top price pushing the tempo here on the fast break, kicks it out to Castlin for three in the corner, and he gets it to go. A huge Kentucky Farm Bureau agent, Bobby Smith, three-pointer, timeout. Evangel Christian, 30-second timeout, and that got the crowd on their feet, Coach. And all of a sudden, Justin Castlin in the second quarter decides, I'll score the first five points, and Evangel Christian, Calls a timeout. This coach has got to try to stop the momentum. Great job by the Bears. Exactly right, Coach. We talked about it uh, before the game a little bit off the air. Uh, just being on that court and, and the goals being kind of isolated, it's a little bit different shooting form uh, from the three-point range. And we've seen that from both teams. But Casting there able to knock down the wide-open jumper. and But more importantly, great use of the cut there on the half-court offense. That was what me and Brady were talking about, Coach. Bears have to find an answer in the half-court. Evangel Christian is going to try and slow them down, not let them play that uh, transitional basketball that they love to play and right now the Bears coming out firing in the second quarter we'll see if they can hold this momentum yeah well Joni uh, you made a great point like I said we we can't let this game stay in the 50s like I said we we've, we've got to go 70 maybe 80 exactly right coach as Doer now brings it across for the Eagles hands it off to White White now on the wing hands it off to Tilly Tilly elects not to take the screen step backs tries to drive in now goes up for a floater and he gets it to go great move there by Tilly 20 to 20 Bears tied up right now as Price now brings it across for the Bears. Ty Price hands it off to Briar Griffin. Griffin over to Lawson Rice. Rice hands it back off to Ty Price. Loses it but gets it back. Price now drives in. Dishes it off to Lawson Rice. Pump fake. Rice drives in. Kicks it out to Castlin. Castlin deep three. Can't get it to go. Rebound. Right down by White. As he gets it up to Tilly. Tilly now brings it across. Six minutes, 30 seconds to go now. Tilly gets it into Mukati. Sizing up Lawson Rice. Lawson Rice holding his own, goes up with Mukati, but Mukati will get the best of him that time. 20 to 22. Should have been steps call trailing. walking. Exactly right, coach. But it's one of those things where the coach or the ref on the baseline is supposed to make that call, but he kind of had his feet boxed out by Lawson Rice, so maybe didn't see the shuffling going on there. But foul is called on Doer. His first team's first of the quarter. I know you can't get a visual, folks, but uh, Butler County home team, white on white. Evangel Christian, blue on blue. As the Bears get it into Lawson Rice over to Briar Griffin. Evangel Christian bringing the press, but they'll fall right back to that man-to-man -man defense that they've played all night. Briar Griffin now gets a step on Doer, drives in, kicks it out to Ty Price. Ty Price now driving in. Jump stop, puts up a tough shot against Tilly. Can't get it to go. Rebound to Tapa. To Tapa works it ahead to Tilly. Tilly on the wing. Size up, Briar Griffin for three. Can't get it to go. Rebound brought down by Justin Castle. Gets it ahead to Ty Price. And we got a collision here. Block on Doer. He was sliding, Coach. I think that's the right call. Yeah. And it's amazing. Again, this is my first state tournament, but uh, and I've always heard they let you play, and it, it it's a it's a more physical game. And uh, but again, the good thing is both teams know it. Uh, but this is definitely not your typical Region Three basketball. Exactly right, Coach. Is, uh, that will be Doer's second foul, second team foul of the quarter. As Todd Price now will bring it across for the Bears. Under six minutes to go now in the Chad's Body Shop and record service second quarter play. Price drives in, jump stop, kicks it out to Griffin. Griffin now at the top of the key, gonna slow things down here for the Bears. Picked up by Tilly. Griffin gets a screen from Price. 
Just pulls it back out. He's guarded by Chatapa. 540 left in the half. Gets a screen from Rice, drives in, goes up, kicks it out to Deweese on the in the corner. Deweese hands it off to Rice at the free throw line. Rice now, jumper from the elbow, gets it to go. Lawson Rice with a great dribble move there, creating some space. 22-22, Tilly now on the wing for the Evangel Christian Eagles. Five minutes, 20 seconds to go here. Tilly giving some trouble by Briar Griffin. Tilly looking at the ref, wanted a foul call there as Briar Griffin was reaching in. Tilly tries to hand it off to White, ball tip. White comes away with it at the top of the key. White now gonna burn some clock here. Decides to give it in the corner to Trice. Trice now ahead to Chitapa, back over to Trice at the top of the key. Trice now over to White. White on the wing, wide open three, and he gets it to go. Got Justin Castlin trying to cheat on that passing lane just a little bit there. 25-22 now, Bears trailing. Ty Price brings it across. Ty Price gets a screen, long distance three-pointer. Can't get it to go, rebound Evangel Christian. And now Tilly on the fast break, goes up. A lot of steps taken, blocked by Rice. Rebound, tied up. It's gonna be a jump ball. 22-25, Evangel Christian leads, jump ball's a call. Possession the way of the Eagles. 4.38 to go in the half, second quarter. Sweet 16, UK Healthcare Boys State Tournament, first round action. Tilly but now inbounding, gets it into Chitapa on the wing. Chitapa thinks about shooting a three, and he does. A little hesitant there. Rebound Justin Castlin, who hands it off to Price. Well, Price has here. a chance to tie it. Price here brings it down, shoots the three ball immediately, can't get it to go. And Price not getting what he wants from the three-point line tonight as Chitapa comes away with it, gets it ahead to Tilly. Tilly now in the corner. Pup fake gets it back out to White. White on the wing inside to Mukati. Mukati throwing a lot of shoulders around there, but gets the inside play to go around Lawson Rice. 27-22, Bears now trailing by five. And this time Griffin will bring it up for the Bears. Griffin gets a screen from Castle and goes in on the baseline. Tries to get it to Rice, tipped out by the Eagles. Both teams playing man-to-man -man defense, and it is aggressive to say the least. It is uh, three minutes, 58 seconds to go here in the chats. Body strap and record service, second quarter play. 27-22 if you're just joining us. Bears trailing right now to Evangel Christian. We're going to get our first substitution, try to give Briar Griffin a break into the game. Jonah will come. Clayton DeWeese checking Clayton. into the game. Thank you. 3.58 left in the half. Trevor Bears trail by five. Gets it into Castlin over to Rice at the top of the key. Rice. Step back jumper from the mid-range. Can't get it to go. Rebound by the way of Tilly. Tilly ahead to Chitapa. Chitapa drives in. Tries to hand it off to Mukati. Stolen. Ball's on the ground. Into the hands of Ty Price. Turnover of Angel Christian. Price now going to push the tempo for the Bears. Price drives in. Goes up against Mukati. Rejected. Huge block there by the much larger Ben Mukati. Yeah. Mukati and, and Dijama both 6'8". Checking into the game is number two. Door come back in. He's averaging... 17 points on the, on the day, on the, on, the, on the season, and he's only got two right now, but got two fouls. The Bears get it into Lawson Rice at the top of the key. Lawson Rice going to pull it out. He'll set up the offense this time. Wants to get it to Ty Price, hands it off to him. As Price now, high on the wing, gets it back over to Lawson Rice. 3.30 left in the half. Rice gets it over to Clayton DeWeese. DeWeese drives to the top, gets it over to Rice in the corner to Castlin. Castlin over to Ty Price. He drives baseline. Great shot fake. Goes up for two. Can't get it to go. Rebound. Out. Trevor DeWeese, though. Trevor DeWeese active on the board tonight. That's his second putback for two. 24-27. Bears still trailing by three. Evangel Christian works ahead to White. White drives baseline. Goes up for two. Can't get it to go. Rebound. Justin Castlin. We say it every time, Coach, but big possession here for the Bears. Absolutely. Only trailing by three. Two minutes, 50 seconds to go here. 24-27. Ty Price has it at the top of the key. He drives in. Goes up for two from the elbow and gets it to go. Great shot there by Top Rice, 26-27. Bears only trailing by one now, two minutes, 40 seconds to go. And Tilly's going to bring it across here for the Eagles. Half court, man-to-man, -man, Butler County defense. It looks like Tilly wants the ISO here against Clayton Louise. Tilly now drives in against Clayton Louise. Step back, goes up for two, and he's going to draw the foul on Clayton Louise. He was in his landing zone, coach. Good defense, though. Good defense by Clayton, Clayton even though Louise he does draw the foul. Not backing down uh, there. Clayton Obviously, Clayton Tilly Louise. thinking he had a mismatch there. Clayton Louise showing him that's not the case. And I think we got a timeout TV here. TV timeout. Yeah, the National Federation of High School Sports, so you'll have those extra timeouts. 
Uh, so again, right now the Bears just trail 27-26, 2:26 left in the half. Uh, heck of a matchup, Jonah. Like we said, of course, it's definitely a David Goliath matchup is what I've called it. The Bears, uh, certainly the underdogs. Uh, Evangel Christian has been ranked in the top ten in the state every week this year uh, of the of the weekly polls by the Courier Journal and the Lexington High Terror. Exactly right, Coach. And, uh, and you said David versus Goliath, but I got to give a shout out Lawson Rice right now, holding his own down low. Uh, the biggest thing, Coach, is we got Lawson Rice and they got Mukati and Dejima, and it, it's one of those things where Lawson Rice is going to get tired in this game, and right now Dejima and Mukati are doing, doing a great job of coming in and out about every two or three minutes for each other, uh, just keeping the fresh guy on the floor, and right now that's been the difference maker. But the Bears hanging with them, Coach, 26-27, a little bit high, higher scoring than what I was expecting uh, coming into this one, but the Bears doing a great job scoring with the team, not going to the three-point shot as much as the Bears have this season, Coach, finding more success in the mid-range, and I look for the Bears to continue to do that. Uh, really just uh, it's, it's hard to get on the inside and get in the block and get those really those tough lanes to go with the two big men down there and right now Evangel Christian doing a great job guarding the perimeter giving Ty Price a lot of tough looks uh, they got somebody within an elbows reach of him at all times so but once again Bears doing a great job staying with Evangel Christian to this point and you know I like this I like this TV timeout even though folks you can't find it on television but the National Federation of High School Sports streams these things live uh, so but again the Bears not being able to go quite as deep on the bench. That gives Butler an extra timeout, exactly gives right. Coach Dockery and staff a chance to talk. Uh, so I, I like that. Exactly right, Coach. As Tilly will go to the line for the Evangel Christian Eagles. Once again, if you're just joining us, folks, Evangel Christian is leading Butler County 27 to 26. Two minutes, 20 seconds to go here in the second quarter play, which is brought to you by Chad's Body Shop and Record Service. Tilly gets his first free throw attempt to go, extending Evangel's lead 28 26 now. Tilly has five points now on the day for Evangel Christian. Tilly's second free throw attempt, also good. 26 29 now as Briar Griffin. Full court pressure by Evangel Christian. Gets it over to Trevor Louise, back to Griffin. Griffin now tries to kick it to Ty Price. Intercepted by Dower. Dower goes up for two and gets it to go. And now Bears get it into Ty Price. Ty Price going to try and bring it across here. Gets it over to Griffin. Griffin now. Two minutes left to play Drops in the half. In from the wing, loses it into the hands of Tilly. Tilly now works it way ahead to Trice. Trice goes up for two and gets it to go. And just a flurry of offense here. Great timeout here by Coach Docker here. Just a 30 second. We'll keep it right here. Coach, anything that could go wrong did go wrong. We saw some folks hitting the deck there. Yeah, they uh, came out. They came out of that break, and Evangel Christian went to a trap press full court. Uh, two turnovers again. You just you've got to make those crisp, clean passes. Uh, this is at the state tournament. There's only 16 teams left in the state, and this is the this is the elite. This is the best of the best. Uh, so again, a great timeout by Coach Dockery. Try to reset. Bears trail by seven. 158 left to play in the half. 33. Evangel Christian. Bears 26. Right. Exactly right, Coach. And whenever they bring that press, we got great ball handlers and Griffin, uh, Price and Rice. But whenever they bring that press, coach, you got to go to the ball movement uh, and you got to move it constantly to get it across the court here. So look for the Bears to do that as Evangel Christian is going to stick to this full court press here as we get it into Price. Back to Deweese, over to Griffin. Griffin now. Back to Deweese. Deweese over to Rice. Ball's tipped out, though, into the hands of Doer, who overthrows it. They throw it way back, stolen by Castlin now. Fast pace action. Castlin ahead to Price. Price now. He will be stolen by Tilly. Tilly works it ahead to Doer. Doer goes up for two and gets the easy lay-in to go for Evangel Christian. Bears now get it into Griffin. Griffin ahead to Lawson Rice. Lawson Rice goes in. He'll lose it. Stolen again by Evangel Christian ahead to Tilly. Evangel Christian on a 6-0 run. 125 left in the half. Bears trail by nine. Tilly now at the top of the key. Gets it over to Doer. Evangel Christian wisely going to slow this game down. They love to play the half-court offense here as Tilly gets a screen from Dejima. Excuse me. He gets it over to White. White. Over to Doer. He'll fire the three ball. Can't get it to go. Rebound, Justin Castlin. Good job by Justin. Bears going the other way. One minute left to play in the half, folks. Castlin over to Ty Price inside the Lawson Rice. One dribble. Kicks it out to Deweese. Back over to Price. Price, good jab step. Puts up the wide open look. Can't get it to go. Rebound. Trevor Deweese can't get the tip to go. 
Rebound. Stolen by Ty Price. He'll put up another jump shot. Can't get it to go again. We're under 45 seconds. Vangel Christian going the other way with it. 35-26 Christian. They may hold it for the last shot. Rebound to Jima. He gets it to Tilly and Tilly doing exactly that. Walking his way across here. 26-35. 30 seconds to go. Stolen by Castlin. Unable to corral it though. Great tip. Great hustle. By Castlin. 31 seconds to go now. The Eagles will inbound as Mukati and Chitapa. They just, they've got that deep bench. Again, they, they play eight to nine players, uh, and, and, it's, and it's taking its toll. 31 seconds left. Bears trail by nine. Evangel Christian with the ball. 31 seconds. They may hold it for the last shot. Trice inbound it to Chachapa. He gives it back to Trice, and that's exactly what they're looking to do here. Ty Price going to pick up Trice at the top of the key, though. Trice drives in. Pulls it back out. Tries to get it. Turnover, Evangel Tilly. Christian. And great defense there by Ty Price and Briar Griffin creating some miscommunication there between Tilly. As you said, Jonah, Trice. every possession, even though we're just second quarter, every possession is crucial. Bears need a basket right here, right before the half. Nine point deficit for the Bears. 19 seconds to go here, but more importantly, don't want to let Evangel Christian get another basket. Bears get it over to Rice at the top of the key. Hands it off to Griffin. Griffin. We're down to 10, 10, 10 seconds. Over to Price, down low to Rice. Rice hands it off to Griffin. Back Five to Rice. seconds. Rice now puts on the dribble moves, goes up for two, can't get the lay-in to go. Rebound to Weez, goes up for two. He can't get it to go. And, and that's, that's going to bring the half to a close. 26-35, nine-point deficit for the Bears as we take it to the halftime break. We'll come back with a halftime show. Not sure who will be here, but someone will be here for that. And then the Essentials Interest Group third quarter play. Keep it right here on WLBQ. For sports teams to succeed, they need good leaders. Point guards and quarterbacks call the right plays to put their teammates in position to score and lead their teams to victory. Kendall Embry at Embry & Watts CPAs wants to be your team leader when it comes to business and personal accounting services. Kendall is ready to call the right plays to keep you compliant with the IRS and keep some of your hard-earned money in your pocket. Tax season is right around the corner, so stop by his office on Main Street in Morgantown today. Looking for something to give you that pick-me-up in the morning? What about a filling dinner? You should head to Hardee's in Morgantown. They have everything you need when it comes to breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They have fluffy biscuits, crunchy hash rounds, mouth-watering burgers, tacos, burritos, fried chicken tenders, ice cream, and many more delicious items. You can have a great dinner before cheering on the sports teams of Butler County. Their friendly and talented staff will make sure your order is fresh and filling. Located on Veterans Way, Hardee's, where the food's the star. Before you cheer on your Bears, stop by your hometown IGA to get everything you need from an assortment of favorite chips, drinks, and a great selection of meat items, including IGA Choice Angus Beef and an array of your favorite brands of hot dogs and brats. You'll find it all and much more at IGA. Located on South Main Street in Morgantown. Go Bears! Your State Farm Insurance agent, Baker Gardner, is ready for another season of VCHS Sports. Baker is also ready to help you with insurance for your home, car, or life. Affordable, reliable insurance from State Farm is backed by one of America's most trusted names. With hometown service always just a phone call away. Good luck, Bears. And remember, like a good neighbor, Baker Gardner is there. Give Baker Gardner and his staff a visit at 219 South Main Street in front of the post office or give them a call at 270-526-5582. Morgantown Bank and Trust knows what being on the home team is all about. Since 1880, Morgantown Bank and Trust has been serving the people of Butler County. And since 1976, we've been a part of every WLBQ broadcast of Butler County High School Athletics. As your only home-owned independent bank, we want to be a pillar of the community. And we work hard every day to give you exceptional, professional service from people you know and trust. Good luck, Bears, from Morgantown Bank and Trust. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Has your car been damaged by a deer, ditch, or distracted driver? If so, Chad's Record Service and Body Shop can help get your car back on the road. The pros at Chad's are licensed and insured and will work with your insurance company to make your car like new again. Chad's also offers 24-hour record service, so when the unexpected happens, you won't be stranded on the side of the road. Call Chad's for a free estimate at 270-526-4005. And remember to request Chad's the next time you need a tow. 
Parkway Cars and Tires is your low price leader in this area. If you find a better price, let us know and we'll beat it. That's simple. Our over 30 years of experience and multiple distributors allow us to be your number one tire store in the area. We always give free rotation and balancing on every purchase. Not only tires, but we do brakes, alignments, and much more for all your service needs. As always, honesty is our policy. Schedule an appointment at 270-526-5732. Thank you and God bless. For more than 50 years, the farm boy has been a staple of the Morgantown community. Not only is it the premier spot for down-home country cooking, but it's the best place to catch up on all the local happenings with good friends and family. Daily specials are always available, including all-you-can-eat catfish Fridays. If you're looking for the best down-home country-style meal this side of the Green River, visit the Farm Boy today. Located at 635 West G.L. Smith Street in Morgantown, the Farm Boy is now open on Sundays from 5 a.m. to 3 p.m. The athletes aren't the only stars in the Butler County school system. Butler County students excel at everything from bridge building to building rockets. Our bands and choirs are consistently some of the best in the entire state. Graduates from our Advanced Technology Center are ready to join the workforce with in-demand skills. And scholarship awards are at an all-time high for BCHS graduates. The Butler County Board of Education is proud of our students on and off the field and reminds you that they're committed to success one student at a time. The way Bill sees it, people who say a car is just for getting from point A to point B are missing the point entirely. Because for Bill, his car is a reflection of his personality. That's why he takes such good care of that car. And he has Kentucky Farm Bureau take care of his insurance. Because we're not just Kentucky's Farm Bureau. We're Bill's pride and joy Farm Bureau. Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance. Big on commitment. Help keep Butler County beautiful by using the recycling trailers provided by the Butler County Recycling Center. The trailers are conveniently located throughout the county to make recycling easy. Find trailers at Butler County Middle School, Cool Springs Church, 2nd District Fire Department, Kentucky Christian Recovery, Butler County Cooperative Extension Service, Morgantown Mission, and Firehouse Pizza. Let's all do our part to keep Butler County beautiful by using the recycling bins provided by the Butler County Recycling Center. It's easy being green. Reduce, reuse, recycle. When you do, we all win. Morgantown Bank & Trust knows what being on the home team is all about. Since 1880, Morgantown Bank & Trust has been serving the people of Butler County. And since 1976, we've been a part of every WLBQ broadcast of Butler County High School Athletics. As your only home-owned independent bank, we want to be a pillar of the community. And we work hard every day to give you exceptional, professional service from people you know and trust. Good luck, Bears, from Morgantown Bank & Trust. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. When you have vending needs, you need to call Double E Vending. They're family owned and locally owned, full service vending company. They established themselves in 1972 to offer their vending services to the community. Whatever vending service is required, Double E has a full line to cover anything you could want. Give them a call at 270-791-5414 to see how they can service you today. 270-791-5414. Double E wants to thank their customers for using them for the last 50 years. Before you cheer on your bears, stop by your hometown IGA to get everything you need from an assortment of favorite chips, drinks, and a great selection of meat items, including IGA Choice Angus Beef and an array of your favorite brands of hot dogs and brats. You'll find it all and much more at IGA. Located on South Main Street in Morgantown. Go Bears! Your State Farm Insurance agent, Baker Gardner, is ready for another season of BCHS Sports. Baker is also ready to help you with insurance for your home, car, or life. Affordable, reliable insurance from State Farm is backed by one of America's most trusted names. With hometown service always just a phone call away. Good luck, Bears. And remember, like a good neighbor, Baker Gardner is there. Give Baker Gardner and his staff a visit at 219 South Main Street in front of the post office or give them a call at 270-526-5582. 
Morgantown Bank and Trust knows what being on the home team is all about. Since 1880, Morgantown Bank and Trust has been serving the people of Butler County. And since 1976, we've been a part of every WLBQ broadcast of Butler County High School Athletics. As your only home-owned independent bank, we want to be a pillar of the community. And we work hard every day to give you exceptional, professional service from people you know and trust. Good luck, Bears, from Morgantown Bank and Trust. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Has your car been damaged by a deer, ditch, or distracted driver? If so, Chad's Record Service and Body Shop can help get your car back on the road. The pros at Chad's are licensed and insured and will work with your insurance company to make your car like new again. Chad's also offers 24-hour record service, so when the unexpected happens, you won't be stranded on the side of the road. Call Chad's for a free estimate at 270-526-4005. And remember to request Chad's the next time you need a tow. Parkway Cars and Tires is your low price leader in this area. If you find a better price, let us know and we'll beat it. That's simple. Our over 30 years of experience and multiple distributors allow us to be your number one tire store in the area. We always give free rotation and balancing on every purchase. Not only tires, but we do brakes, alignments, and much more for all your service needs. As always, honesty is our policy. Schedule an appointment at 270-526-5732. Thank you and God bless. For more than 50 years, the Farm Boy has been a staple of the Morgantown community. Not only is it the premier spot for down-home country cooking, but it's the best place to catch up on all the local happenings with good friends and family. Daily specials are always available, including all-you-can-eat catfish Fridays. If you're looking for the best down-home country-style meal this side of the Green River, visit the Farm Boy today. Located at 635 West G.L. Smith Street in Morgantown. The Farm Boy is now open on Sundays from 5 a.m. to 3 p.m. The athletes aren't the only stars in the Butler County school system. Butler County students excel at everything from bridge building to building rockets. Our bands and choirs are consistently some of the best in the entire state. Graduates from our Advanced Technology Center are ready to join the workforce with in-demand skills. And scholarship awards are at an all-time high for BCHS graduates. The Butler County Board of Education is proud of our students on and off the field and reminds you that they're committed to success one student at a time. The way Bill sees it, people who say a car is just for getting from point A to point B are missing the point entirely. Because for Bill, his car is a reflection of his personality. That's why he takes such good care of that car. And he has Kentucky Farm Bureau take care of his insurance. Because we're not just Kentucky's Farm Bureau. We're Bill's pride and joy Farm Bureau. Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance. Big on commitment. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Tarup Arena here at the Boys Sweet 16 Tournament. Four minutes, 30 seconds to go here before we begin the second half of play. And uh, Coach, I ran over there quickly because I believe I want to read off uh, just some of our sponsors here that we don't get yes, to sir. mention as much as others. Uh, State Farm, Agent Baker Gardner, Parkway, Cars and Tires, Double E Vending, the Hardys of Morgantown, Smith Funeral Home, Butler County Library, Harker Insurance, Embry & Watt CPA, Jones Funeral Chapel, Jackson Chiropractic, Warren RECC, and Butler County Recycling. We appreciate all of our uh, lovely sponsors. They're the reason that we get to come to Rupp today, Coach, and call this uh, pretty good matchup here so far. And uh, I believe if you want to go over some of the scoring, they were a big shout out to the people at Rupp Arena. They give us these uh, every half. They give us the reports here. So, Coach, if you want to go over some scoring for us. Yes, sir. Sure will, Jonah. Uh, for Evangel Christian, Chitapa, 7, White, 8, Mukata, 6, Door, 6, Tilly, 6, DeGemma has not scored, Trice, 2, for the Barrett, for a total of 35, and they lead. For Butler County, Trevor DeWeese, 7, Lawson Rice, 6, Justin Castlin, 5, Briar Griffin, 2, Ty Price, 6, and Clayton DeWeese has not scored yet for a total of 26. So the Bears trail 35-26 at the half. Uh, 
the turnovers almost balanced. Evangel Christians turned it over seven times, Butler six times. Uh, but again, you and I talked about it while we were off there, Jonah, and you go ahead if you want to expound on it. Uh, right now, the field goal percentage. The field goal percentage is huge, Coach. And, and uh, the Bears right now shooting 35.5% and Evangel Christian shooting 56% from the field. And, Coach, we, anytime a team is shooting 56% from the field, it doesn't really matter what your field goal percentage is. It's going to be hard to beat them. Uh, and the story, too, uh, two for 12 from the three-point line uh, for the Bears as a team. So, uh, I mean, Coach, it, the Bears have gone to the three-point shot all year long, and I know it's hard to change up your game plan uh, this deep into the season, but right now they're having more success in the mid-range area and uh, even down low sometimes whenever uh, Griffin or Price are able to drive and create uh, that attention and dish it off uh, to the cuts. Uh, so I look for the Bears to go inside of the three-point line more often than not. And a big thing, too, Coach, that we said, it's going to be the first four minutes of the first quarter and the first four minutes of the third quarter. So I look for the Bears to come out. Uh, no reason for them not to come out and still try to run with this team. Uh, but if they can really, uh, they got to score in succession, get three or four unanswered baskets, and really get this momentum, this crowd on their side. And I think the Bears can have a really good chance of crawling their way back into this one. Absolutely, uh, Jonah. Again, uh, it would, like I said, we talked about it off the air also. Lawson Rice has got a quick step. Again, you know, if, if it's open there, get it down inside. Lawson seems to be beating these guys off the dribble. And again, we talked about it. They rotate uh, Mukata and Ujema. Uh, if we could get them in foul trouble. But again, uh, right now, the, the story is, is the shooting percentage. And I can't believe that they're going to continue to shoot 50% or more. Uh, by quarters, uh, Butler County scored 15 in the first quarter, 11 in the second. Evangel Christian, 8 in the first quarter, 17 in the second. Uh, so again, uh, like that, Ty Price with six, Lawson Rice with six points each. They got to step that up. Trevor Deweese has done a great job. Again, Trevor, seven points right now, the leading score. Uh, but the story also could be the bench. Again, right now, uh, of course, uh, Trevor Deweese, Lawson Rice, Justin Castlin, and Ty Price have not come out of the game. And I don't think that they will come out of the game. Uh, so it's just a situation where we're still right where we need to be. I mean, we're down, we're down nine, uh, but but we've seen this before. Uh, but uh, again, if, if our guys get hot, and like I said, we we live and die by the three, but that's okay because right. that's because that's our mo. And uh, if we can if we can get those shots to start falling, this crowd will get into the game. And again, we definitely are the underdog. And I've always heard that about Sweet 16 crowds that uh, they they like the underdog. Right. And, Coach, one thing, too, I mean, we've talked about it all season. We've talked about it the first game of the year. Very aggressive scheduling. Uh, Bears went to the king of the bluegrass. We played teams like St. X and Henderson County and uh, Warren Central, who was also here earlier. And uh, I look for the Bears uh, to come out, and you're down nine in the state tournament. But I look for them to come out and treat this like another half of basketball. Yes, you're down nine. You're trying to come back. And if you get a stressful situation, the emotions can start rolling. Uh, but I look for the Bears to come out focused and uh, definitely have a chance to come back and uh, Absolutely. maybe even pull out a win here if at all possible all right so coach i'm gonna need a break so i'm gonna go to the bench and i'm gonna send brady jones back in for the third quarter all right coach as uh, they are making the switch as uh, me and brady gonna swap spots here And we're back. Brady Jones here with yes. me now on the call. Bears going to start with the ball here, Brady, in the Essentials Insurance Group. Third quarter play, and we already have a double team chaser on top price, so the Bears get it into Lawson Rice instead. Rice high on the wing here, gets it over to Price. Price now guarded by Chitapa, gets it over to Trevor Dewey's. Dewey's hands it off to Griffin, who's going to draw a foul on Doer. I believe that's Doer's third, if I'm not mistaken. Team's You're first correct. of the quarter. As I have dropped my clipboard, it's been retrieved. Trice will come into the game for Doer. He'll have a seat for the foreseeable future as Dewey is now set to inbound here. If you're just joining us, folks, 28-35, the Bears are trailing the Evangel Christian Eagles here in the Sweet 16. We've just begun the second half. Todd Price now at the top of the key gets over to Dewey. Dewey hands it off to Griffin. Griffin. Gets a screen from Rice, tries to get it to Rice, instead gets over to Deweese on the wing. Deweese fires the three ball, can't get it to go. Rebound Tilly. Tilly now, he'll drive it down. Gets a great bounce pass to Chitapa, gets Deweese jumping, but Deweese with a great block. Way to stay disciplined there by Trevor as Briar Griffin comes away with it. Griffin now on the drive. 
Tries to get it to Rice, and he's going to throw an interception here to Mukati, who gets it over to Tilly. Tilly works it ahead to Trice. Thinks about the three, instead gets it over to Mukati. He'll fire the long distance two pointer. Can't get it to go. Rebound, Lawson Rice. He gets it over to Ty Price. And Ty Price going to try and get some scoring going for either team here. Seven minutes to go now in the Essentials Insurance Group. Third quarter of play. Ty Price driving in. Great fake there. Goes up for two. And a great lay in there by Ty Price. Great pass fake. 28 35 now. But Trice already on the other side and can't get the lane to go there. Great defense by Price and Rice as Griffin now brings her across for the Bears. Griffin drives in against Tilly. Goes up for two. No foul called. Ball's going to be tipped out by Lawson Rice. And Brady on both sides right there. Very physical takes by both Trice and Griffin and no foul calls on either one. That's right. I, I do believe in comes, is it Dejima? Dejima. That's what we're going with. We do apologize if anybody has any information on how to pronounce. We're doing the best we can. We uh, saw a dead even split in the time that Dejima and uh, Mukati switched out in the first half, uh, just kind of like what we predicted going into the game. As Dejima does have it on the wing, Doer also back in the game, but White has it on the block, goes up for two, can't get it to go, gets his own rebound, goes up for two again, and he'll draw a foul here. It'll either be Trevor DeWeese or Lawson Rice, and it will be Trevor DeWeese, his second. Uh, uh, DeWeese. That's correct. Team's first of the quarter, once again, 28-35 here, Butler County trailing here, six minutes, 25 seconds to go in the Essentials Entrance Group third quarter of play. And number 23, Davir White at the line for the Eagles. Puts up the first, can't get it to go. Ty Price getting instructions from Coach Elijah Fleener right now. And Brady already coming out, just seeing what the Bears are trying to do offensively. It looks already like they're trying to get Lawson Rice more involved, but you can't force the ball to him. As Castling comes away with the rebound, White comes up empty on that trip to the free throw line. Griffin brings it across. Griffin hands it off to Price. Picked up by Chitapa. Chitapa. As Price tries to get it over to Griffin, ball's tipped out into the hands of Coach Fleener. Lawson Rice will inbound in front of his own bench here. Six minutes, 11 seconds to go here in the essential entrance group third quarter play. Griffin has it on the wing. Griffin. Drives in against Doer, gets it out to Kasslin. Kasslin drives in against Tilly, goes up for two, and gets it to go. Great attack there by Kasslin, seeing the mismatch and taking advantage as Doer now brings it across 30, 35, under six minutes to go now. Doer outside to Chitapa. Chitapa driving in against DeWeese, gets it back out to Doer. Doer drives in, two steps, goes up against Lawson Rice and gets the lay-in to go there. 37, 30, Bears now trying to find an answer on the offensive side. Rice gets it over to Griffin. Griffin now driving in against Dejima, gets it over to Lawson Rice, up for two, and he gets the and one to go. Huge play there for Lawson Rice, drawing a foul on both, I believe, number one, Dejima, and he will, it will send him to the line for a chance to convert the and one. And like you said, Brady Mukati already checking back in for Dejima. And Lawson Rice goes to the final finish, free throw line here, 32-37, Bears trying to overcome the nine-point halftime deficit here in the state tournament as Lawson Rice, one and only attempt is up, and he gets it to go, 33-37. As Briar Griffin now picks up Tilly full court here. Tilly now brings it across half, slows it down, sets up some offense here. Tilly tries to lob it up to White. He gets it to him between four defenders. He gets it outside to Chitapa. Chitapa outside to Doer. Wide open look at the three ball. Can't get it to go. Rebound, though, to Chitapa. He goes up for two. He can't get it to go. Rebound into the hands of Briar Griffin. Briar Griffin now going to push the tempo for the Bears. Pulls up instead, passes it over to Castlin in the corner. Castlin outside to Trevor DeWeese. He'll hand it off to Ty Price. Ty Price getting instructions here from the coaching staff. And he'll dribble it around up top. Guarded by Chitapa once again. Tries to get it to DeWeese, stolen by Doer. And Doer goes up and he'll slam it. Huge defensive play there for Doer, absolutely taking the air out of the Butler County side of things. 39-33 now, four minutes, 40 seconds to go here. Ty Price brings it across, gets a screen from Rice. Price now gets it over to Lawson Rice. Lawson Rice driving in, kicks it out to Briar Griffin for three. No good rebound. Tipped into the hands of Castlin. Ball's on the ground into the hands of Griffin. Griffin goes up for two. And he gets the lane to go there. Great lay in by Briar Griffin. 35 39. Bears trying to hang on to the Eagles who are clinging to that four point lead right now. Doer on the wing gets it over to Tilly up top. Tilly once again being chased by Briar Griffin. He gets it over to Doer. Doer. Over to Chitapa, excuse me, Chitapa, who gets it out to Tilly. Tilly gets a screen from Chitapa. Now he's picked up by Trevor DeWeese. He's calling for a screen from Mukati. He takes the screen now with Lawson Rice on him, fires the three ball, can't get it to go. Rebound, Justin Castlin hands it off to Price. Price pushing the tempo here. 
Goes up against Doer. No foul call anywhere. Could have been a charge or a block either one. Either way, the Eagles come away with it. They work it ahead to White for three. And he'll get the shooter's roll off the front iron. Gets the forward roll to go. 35-42. Three minutes, 38 seconds to go here in the Essentials Entrance Group. Third quarter play. Bears got to stay focused here. Got to keep continuing with these answers as Ty Price kicks it out to Lawson Rice. Lawson Rice trying to drive in against Mukati. Goes up for two. Blocked will go the way of the Bears. And Brady there, not a great take for Lawson Rice, but you can't di get discouraged and stop shooting when things like that happen. Right. And look for Lawson Rice to continue to look to score. As they do get it into Lawson Rice on the elbow, great bounce pass to Ty Price, who works it outside to Caslin. Caslin, great find to Lawson Rice. One dribble goes up for two and gets it to go once again, Brady. More foul calls could be called, but no whistles being blown. 37-42. They are letting them play out there right now. Evangel Christian still leading here. Three minutes to go now in the Essentials Insurance Group third quarter of play. And Doer brings it across. He's being chased down by Castlin. Goes in. Puts it up for two. Can't get it to go. Rebound. Justin Castlin works it ahead to Ty Price. Ty Price on the one on three. Loses it into the hands of Lawson Rice. Up for two, and they're going to draw a foul. And Brady Jones... He had that look in his eyes. If he would have got that dunk off, that could have changed the thing. That could have changed the pace of this game. Foul is on Doer, his fourth, the Eagles' leading scorer. But Brady, that's a great foul. You cannot let Lawson Rice dunk it at this point in the game, uh, and that'll be a full timeout taken by the Eagles. The Bears with a little bit of uh, momentum, Brady, uh, brewing on the Bears' side of things. Uh, we'll keep it right here. Uh, during this timeout, Coach Calvin Dockery uh, trying to calm down the boys a little bit. And Brady, we saw the Bears get a little bit of momentum there and then a great steal by Doer and then the dunk on the other side absolutely took the life out of us. But the Bears doing a great job staying focused and come back and recreating that momentum. Right. And right now, Lawson Rice is going to the final finish free throw line with a chance to get this down to a one possession game, I believe. You're correct. And uh, Brady, if, if he can knock down both of these free throws, it would be huge for the Bears. But they're doing a great job right now just cutting into that lead. And we say it all the time, Brady. It's it's not one of those, lead, those leads that you're going to come back from in one minute. The Bears are doing a great job taking their time and, and really just trying to crawl back into this thing right. uh, one possession at a time. What can you say about that? I mean, the Eagles have done just a terrific job keeping Ty Price away from any look at a three-point shot. He has not made one tonight. And uh, that's not a story that you hear right. come out of many games, especially when it comes to the uh, – uh, tournament time. Exactly right. He's been on a tear this tournament, but doing a great job right now distributing the ball right. uh, to his teammates right now, getting them open looks. And the Bears doing a good job so far, coming out at a half at least, uh, taking the shot that Evangel Christian is giving them. And uh, like we said, Brady, this, this is a very physical matchup. And uh, right now, matchup I'm most enjoying watching personally is Briar Griffin versus Tilly. Uh, both of those players have only sat for about a minute uh, and uh, they're going at it uh, all game so far, and that takes Lawson Rice to the final finish for the line here as we are set now. Two minutes, 54 seconds to go here in the third quarter, brought to you by the Essentials Insurance Group. If you're just joining us, Evangel Christian leads Butler County in the Sweet 16, 42 to 37. Lawson Rice, first attempt is up. Hits front iron, no good. It's Lawson Rice now getting set for his second free throw attempt here. Very quiet in this arena when the Bears are at the free throw line, Brady. As Rice puts up the second, and it is good. 38-42 now. Briar Griffin trying to jump the passing lane. Unsuccessful. Gets back on defense. Bears sticking to that man-to-man -man they have all game. Tilly gets it over to Doer. Doer picked up by Castlin. Doer analyzing the defense here. Is trying to drive on Castlin. Kicks it out to Chitapa. Great pump fake by him. He drives in. Jump stop. Kicks it out to Doer. Doer drives. Goes up against Deweez. Can't get the lay in to go. Rebound tipped around in the hands of Chitapa. And uh, Chitapa is going to be hit pretty hard here by Trevor Deweez. That will be his third foul. Stop on Trevor Deweez, his third personal for Team second of the quarter, I believe. That sends Chitapa to the free throw line for the Eagles here. 42-38, Bears trailing. Chitapa puts up the first, no good. And Clayton DeWeese now going to come in for Trevor DeWeese. Trevor DeWeese once again. Brady, he's done a great job on the board tonight. Has many second chance opportunity points. And uh, I believe he knocked down the only three-point shot 
four, or no, excuse me. Justin had Caslin two. had one there in the second quarter. But only two threes for the Butler County Bears. Not not been the story this year at all for the Bears. Brady, like you said, the Bears doing a good job adjusting as Chitapa puts up the second. No good rebound, Justin Caslin, and a huge opportunity here for the Bears as Griffin brings it across. Griffin over to Caslin. Caslin. He'll fire the three ball, and he gets it to go. We were just talking about it. And Kentucky Farm Bureau agent Bobby Smith gets another three-pointer on the board. 41-42. Castlin with a huge three-pointer. Bears fans on their feet. As Doer now up top, guarded by Castlin, driving in, kicks it over to Mukati, goes up for two, and Mukati gets the better of Rice there. 44-41. Under two minutes to go now. Bears trying to stay with the Eagles here. As Ty Price brings it across, driving in, pulls it back out here. Nice, really wants to shoot here, but can't find an open look anywhere. Evangel Christian, like you said, already doing a great job. Tries to swing it to Rice. Wild pass intercepted by White. White hands it off to Doer. Doer kicks it back to White in the corner for three, and he gets it to go. White with a celebration there. 47-41. Bears right back in the situation they were about two minutes ago as Price now trying to bring it across, being mauled by Chitapa. He gets it ahead to Tilly. Tilly will go up, and he will slam it. For the Eagles, timeout. Coach Dockery, 30-second timeout. We'll keep it right here. And Brady, this is just a roller coaster of emotions. Bears able to get within just one point. 41-42 was the story. And then Evangel Christian, they've done it once already this game, and they do it again with nine unanswered points, 49, or excuse me, 49-41. And then Tilly with an absolute slam on the other side. Right. Bring in your total. 49-41, excuse me, now it's 49-41. The replays are uh, confusing me. The scoreboard stays the same. One minute, 19 seconds to go here in the Essentials Entrance Group, third quarter play. This has been a great quarter by the Bears for the most part, other than probably that last 45 seconds, Brady. Uh, if the Bears can get this lead down to about five points uh, going into the fourth quarter of play, I really think they'll be in a good spot. Uh, Bears got to do a good job, and they really just got to stay Stay playing their game. They kind of slowed it down there, we did, and worked it to uh, some other options. Lawson Rice and Castlin uh, obviously having some great looks on the offensive side. I look for the Bears to continue to do that. It looks like Evangel Chitapa has just done a great job. I cannot overstate it. Shutting down Ty Price so far. I mean, he cannot breathe out there, Brady, as Castlin gets it into Griffin. And Griffin now back to Castlin. Bears got to break this press uh, effectively. As Griffin now gets it back to Castlin, got to get it across here. Castlin does get it across. Tries to work it to Rice. That's going to go off the hands of Doer. Bears getting away with one there. Those full court passes are very scary here. 49-41. Once again, if you're just joining us, a minute and eight seconds to go here in the third quarter of play. Brought to you by the Essentials Insurance Group. They get it into Lawson Rice. Hands it off to Ty Price. Great bounce pass to Rice. Rice goes up for two. Oh, man. In college basketball, that would have been a blocking foul, but in high school basketball, it's a charge, Brady. It's Lawson Rice with the aggressive take. It's the first charge we've seen all night, and Bears faithful not very excited about it. Both refs looked at each other. Uh, I don't think either one of them wanted to make that call, Brady, uh, but it was an aggressive take by Lawson Rice. McCotty did set his feet. Uh, good take there. A minute, four seconds to go now. Doer brings it across for the Eagles. Picked up by Castle once again. Bears sticking to the man-to-man. -man. Doer now drives baseline. Tries to kick it away. Stolen by Rice into the hands of Price. Price now pushing the tempo for the Bears. Step back goes up for two. Floater is good. Great move by Ty Price. 43-49 here. And Evangel Christian being the wise basketball team that they are. Brady probably going to burn the rest of this time here in the third quarter. Coach Dockery wanting the boys to get after him as Tilly now drives in. Tilly brings it back out, gives it over to Doer. Doer going to hold it. Doer. He'll stand here for the next 20 seconds if he has to, Brady. 20 seconds now to go. 43-49. Bears need a stop right here going into the fourth quarter as Doer trying to get Kasson off of his feet here. He's going to wait for a screen here from White probably. Instead, drives in, goes up against Rice, goes up for two, and gets it to go. And that'll be a foul on Lawson Rice. That was a huge bucket there by Doer. Lawson Rice's third foul of the game. That sends Doer to the line. Doer 
One and only attempt is up. No good. Rebound Lawson Rice. Four seconds to go here. Lawson Rice brings it across. Stripped into the hands of Caslin. Can't get the shot off in time. It's no good anyway. That'll bring your third quarter to a close. 51 43. Butler County trails going into the fourth quarter of play. We'll see if they can come back. Keep it right here on WLBQ. Has your car been damaged by a deer, ditch, or distracted driver? If so, Chad's Record Service and Body Shop can help get your car back on the road. The pros at Chad's are licensed and insured and will work with your insurance company to make your car like new again. Chad's also offers 24-hour record service, so when the unexpected happens, you won't be stranded on the side of the road. Call Chad's for a free estimate at 270-526-4005. And remember to request Chad's the next time you need a tow. The athletes aren't the only stars in the Butler County school system. Butler County students excel at everything from bridge building to building rockets. Our bands and choirs are consistently some of the best in the entire state. Graduates from our Advanced Technology Center are ready to join the workforce with in-demand skills. And scholarship awards are at an all-time high for BCHS graduates. The Butler County Board of Education is proud of our students on and off the field and reminds you that they're committed to success one student at a time. Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Rupp Arena here in the Sweet 16. Butler County Bears taking on Evangel Christian and Coach coming out of this uh, break here. The Bears looking a little fired up. 43-51, Bears trailing Evangel Christian at the beginning of the Butler County Board of Education fourth quarter play. And uh, Coach, I mean, look, uh, the Bears doing a great job crawling back into it, down by only one at one point, and then just gave up some series of unfortunate events for them. Uh, what can the Bears do to, to hopefully come back in this game in the fourth quarter, Coach? Every, every, pass, has to, every pass has to be crisp and sharp. Uh, but again, eight minutes. As Tilly already inside, goes up for two. No good rebound. Justin Castlin, sorry to cut you off, Coach. No, 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 that's fine. That's fine. As Griffin brings it down here, hands it off to Castlin. Castlin now driving in against Chitapa, gets it over to Rice. Rice driving in, goes up for two, and gets it to go. And one, Lawson Rice. That's what we needed. Coach, again, we were talking about Lawson beats him off the dribble. We said it at halftime, Coach. Lawson Rice needs to touch the ball every time on the offensive side for the Bears, and he's proven it right there. 45-51 now. That foul was on? Wukati. Uh, Thank you. I believe, and Dejima checks in for him. As uh, Just look it up top, Coach. Uh, I like that they have the stats up here. Justin Castlin with 10 rebounds and 10 points, a little double-double there for you. As Lawson Rice puts up his one and only free throw at the final final finish free throw line and gets it to go. And Tilly able to corral the inbound pass there. 46-51, seven minutes, 30 seconds to go in this game. They hand it off to White. The Eagles on the offensive side here. White picked up by Price. Quite great. the height disadvantage for Price there. Yeah, great man-to-man -man by the Bears. They trail by five. Last quarter action for fourth quarter. Seven minutes left in the game. Dower gets it to White. Turn around, jumper, and he gets it to go. Great answer there from White. 53-46 now. Price brings it back across once again. Gets a screen from Briar Griffin. Ty Price drives in, falls down, able to get rid of it to Lawson Rice. He goes up, Lawson Rice, and Lawson Rice gets the lay to go. 48-53, Lawson Rice once again making the best of a bad situation there for the Bears. Seven minutes to go now, 48-53, Bears trailing as they get it into Doer. Doer now on the baseline, kicks it outside to Chitapa. Chitapa back over to Doer. Doer now, spot up jumper from the free throw line, can't get it to go, rebound. Dejima blocked by DeWeese. We'll see if it's either on DeWeese or on Lawson Rice. Either way, it's gonna be one of their fourth fouls and it will be on Trevor DeWeese. It's gonna be Trevor's fourth, 6.47 left to play in the game. Bears trail 53-48. And not what you want to see, Coach. A little foul trouble here for the Bears. Big men. DeWeese with four fouls and Lawson Rice with three. It does send number one, Dejima, to the free throw line for the Eagles. Dejima puts up his first. No good. 48-53. Bears trailing by five here in the state tournament. First round. 6.47 left to play. As Dejima now lines up his second attempt. Puts it up 
and he gets that one to go. 48-54 here in the Butler County Board of Education. Fourth quarter play. Price works in the middle to Lawson Rice. Ahead to Trevor DeWeese. DeWeese brings it across. Tries to get it to Rice. Ball's tipped out. They're going to say it was off of one of the Evangel Christian players. We'll stay with the Bears. UK Healthcare Boys Sweet 16 State Tournament. First round action. Lawson Rice now set to inbound. Gets it into Ty Price. Ty Price now fires the three ball. Can't get it to go. Rebound to Dejima. Dejima over to Doer. Doer will bring it across for Evangel Christian. Doer outside to White. White jab step against Trevor DeWeese. He'll drive in. Spin move goes up for two. No good. Rebound Ty Price. Ty Price now. Sutter step gets it over to Lawson Rice. Rice That's inside to Trevor DeWeese. Great find, great cut, and great score great for the Bears. Assist. 50 54. A great find by Lawson Rice, creating with all the attention he's drawing now. Six minutes left to play. Bears trail by four. It's going to come down to the wire, hopefully, here under six minutes to go now in the Butler County Board of Education. Fourth quarter of play, and White brings it across. Tries to hand it off to Tilly. He gets it to him. Tilly guarded by Griffin. Trying to fight through everything. Tilly loses it. Ball's on the ground. Timeout's trying to be called here, but they're going to get a jump ball here either way. It's going to be Bears basketball. But, Coach, I'll be honest. I think Trevor DeWeese had possession of that basketball, and I think that we should have got a timeout. But either way, great defensive possession, big defensive possession great by hustle. the Bears. And great they come hustle. away with the ball here. 546 left to play. Bears are going to have the ball. Bears trail by four. We do have a Kenny Swift sweat situation, but the big mops here at Rep Arena handle that with ease. Every pass has to be crisp. Full court pressure, man-to-man -man by Evangel Christian. Bears Briar, with the ball. Can cut it to two. Briar Griffin has the step on Tilly, and he's just going to lose it out of bounds. And, Coach, we've seen a lot of that. I don't want to call it flopping, but theatrics by both Tilly and Griffin, and neither of them getting called there. And I was no. telling Brady, that's been the matchup all night. Very physical battle between those two guards. Bears give it right back up here. Need another big defensive stop as Doer brings it across. He'll we be can't say it enough. Kessler. Every possession is crucial. Five minutes, 30 seconds to go now in this game. 50 to 54. Bears still trailing by four. Doer now brings it across. Gets a screen from Dejima. Doer over to Chitapa. Chitapa trying to decide what to do with it. Hits Doer on the cut. Doer, great drive. Goes up for two. Can't get it to go. Rebound. To Tapa, out to Tilly for three. Tilly can't get it to go. Rebound. Dejima, off of Dejima. And it goes way of Butler County. Coach Bears finally getting away with one there. Yeah, too many extra putbacks by Evangel Christian. They keep finding a way to get their hands on the ball. Bales tra Bears trail by four. Bears with the ball again. Here comes this full court pressure by Evangel Christian. And Lawson Rice going to size up Dejima. Lawson Rice He's got the step it. on him. He's feeling it. He needs to take control of the game. Takes a step back jumper. Can't get it to go. Rebound chased down by Evangel Christian. They work it ahead to Chatapa under the basket. He needs some help here. He can't find it. Ball's trying to be stolen by Ty Price there. Almost got him on the sleeper there. Couldn't get it to go. Bears Fouls trail by Ty four. Price. 448 left. Folks, Ty Price has not had a three today. That's what needs to start happening, Jonah. If we could, if he could just set his feet and, and get a little bit of magic, that could be the difference in the game right here. As Tilly now gets it into White in the corner. White once again picked up by Ty Price. Quite the mismatch there as White gets it out to Doer. 440 left in the game. Doer now picked up by Justin Castle. Doer going to drive to the left side. He's going to try and drive in now against Castle on the block. Goes up for two. And a tough bucket there by Doer. That is killer coach. Uh, it, it, I mean, Castle had that ball pinned to him for about three-fourths of his yeah, Justin, uh, leaping time. Justin did everything he could ask to do defensively. Doer, folks, is, uh, again, Justin Doer, or Christian Doer is 6'3", uh, point guard senior, averaging 17 points on the game. And he puts up his one and only free throw attempt, and he gets it to go. Full time out here taken by Evangel Christian. Obviously, we're going to keep it right here with the stakes as high as they are. Four minutes, 31 seconds to go here, Coach, in the Butler County Board of Education fourth quarter of play. Bears trailing 57 to 50. And, uh, Coach, Bears doing a great job. They can get the lead down to about that two or three point range, but Evangel Christian has done a great job all game of uh, always having an answer on the offensive side for whatever the Bears are able to throw at them defensively. And they've been doing a great job of silencing Ty Price. And big shout out to uh, number 11, Justin, or not, excuse me, that's our team. Number 11, Isaiah Chitapa. Uh, has been following Ty Price around like a magnet all night long, Coach, and he has done a great job not letting Ty Price get any open looks at all. You're right, and again, Chitapa, 6'3", 180-pound senior, 
some of these seniors for Banjo Christian have played for three years. Again, I, again, I, hats off to Evangel Christian. They, they are, they are very athletic. But uh, it, it frustrates me from an old athletic director standpoint because it is, it is a private school. And uh, Jonah, I hate to say it, and folks, uh, just take Coach Allen's uh, preaching or venting with a grain of salt. Uh, it's a travel team. It's a travel team that's turned into a high school. Every uh, and again, nothing against travel ball. Don't right. get me wrong. But, uh, but again, uh, you cannot acquire this much athletic ability in a, in a school that small in the city of Louisville, Kentucky. And again, private schools have the right to go out and get whoever they want. But uh, this, is, this is a very, very athletic team. I think coming out of the break, here we go. Let's get back and me stop Vin. We're going to see full court pressure again. We've got to make sharp, crisp passes, Jonah, and beat this press and got to, got to get some shots falling. I'd still, go to, I'd still go to Big Rice. I'd go to Lawson. I'd feed him the ball and let him take it to the hole. As Todd Price will bring it across for the Bears, however, he brings it across, hands it off to Griffin on the wing. Griffin hands it off to Rice at the top of the key. Rice hands it off to Price. Price now getting a lot of screens here, drives in. Three-pointers on the way. He got hit on the way down. No foul call. Doer tries to save it into the hands of Lost Rice over to Castle. A huge three-pointer on the way, and That's he gets it to go. A huge Kentucky Farm Bureau. Agent Bobby Smith, three-pointer. Justin Castle with his third of the night. Bears only trail by four. 57. Four minutes left to play in the game. Under four minutes now, Doer at the top of the key. Bears need a huge defensive stop here as Tilly has it. Tilly picked up by Griffin as he has been all night long. Tilly trying to drive in here. Stolen by Todd Price as they try to get it into White. They hand it back off to Todd Price. Todd Price. Bears trail by four. 345 left to play. Todd Price pushes the tempo, drives in, goes up for two. We got a foul on the floor. Great drive there by Todd Price attacking there. They're going to draw a foul here on number 11. That is Chitapa. Chitapa, that'll be his first of the day. I feel like I've said it every time we've had the ball, Coach, but a huge possession here. Chance to get it down to one score again, Coach, as the Bears now trying to get it into someone here. Got to get it in. They throw it way up high into the hands of Doer. Stolen by the Doer Evangel over Christian. to Chitapa. Chitapa goes up for two, can't get it to go, but Bears have no chaser, and Doer gets an easy lay in there. Bears can't let that possession get in their heads. 53-59 here, still a big possession for the Bears. Down by six, 325 left playing the game. Bears Price have got to get a basket. Price now gets, tries to get it over to Lawson Rice, and Price unable to get the pass to connect. Turnover Bears, Bears trail 59-53, 321 left to play. Evangel Christian with the ball. Tilly now has it, he gets it over to Doer. Doer gonna bring it across. Picked up by Castle. Doer on the wing now. Waiting for something to set up here. Trying to find Tilly, and he does. Tilly now driving in. Goes up for two, can't get it to go. Rebound tip to Lawson Rice. Back over to Ty Price. Ty Price now brings it across. Bears have numbers here. They get it to Lawson Rice. And Stolen he'll be by stripped. Evangel Christian. Foul on Ty Price. The hands of Chitapa, and that's just gonna be a frustration foul there. Bears gotta keep a level head coach. Only a six point game here. Two minutes, 56 seconds to go here in the Butler County Board of Education. Fourth quarter play, and yes, it's it's tough to get a defensive stop, have an open uh, offensive possession as they're gonna have a commercial timeout here. We'll keep it right here, Coach, but it is tough to get a couple of defensive stops in a row and come up empty on the offensive side uh, every time on the, the two or three possessions in a row there. Uh, but this is a much needed break for the Bears. Uh, we are looking a little tired, Coach. Like you said, starting five has played almost the entire game. Clayton DeWee is the only man off the bench so far. So this commercial timeout is huge for the Bears. And uh, we're, trying to, we're trying to get it to Lawson Rice, but Evangel Christian, once again, uh, throwing a lot of guys right there. They're collapsing on Lawson Rice as soon as he touches the inside of the three-point line. They're doing a great job. And they're doing a great job, once again, following Ty Price around. And I'll be honest with you, Coach, I think what the Bears are going to have to do, they're either going to have to go to, to Briar Griffin or find DeWeese or Castle on the outside. Those are really where we're only getting our open looks at. Yeah, you're right, Jonah. And like I said, and right now, Lawson Rice, if, again, of course, it's not up on the big board right now, but I think Lawson leads all scores with 17. So they know they've got to stop Lawson. Lawson, again, uh, they, they, they've shut Ty down or they've denied him the threes. And uh, But, again, uh, the game's very much within reach. But, again, every possession, as you said, becomes important. We, we cannot allow any second shots by Evangel Christian. Uh, again, it's just like I said. It's, but, again, you know, the, I'm not saying the fatigue is setting in 
but uh, but his fourth quarter, these these commercial timeouts certainly help. It allows Coach Fleener and and Coach Dockery to reassess and and set something up. Uh, but again, this is a type of game. Even though Evangel Christian is athletic enough to run it, we're in the 50s, and this is exactly the tempo where we didn't want to be. We are a team that scores in the 70s and 80s. Exactly right, Coach, and the Bears. Uh, once again, not having as much success from the three-point line. That's been a big story tonight. Uh, but the Bears, once again, just got to get a stop on the defensive side. Uh, this man-to-man -man matchup right now, Evangel Christian does have a height advantage at almost every position. As Doer will bring it across here. Big defensive possession for the Bears. One to three minutes, folks. Three minutes left to play for the Bears. Doer high on the wing. Wants a screen from Dejima. He gets it. Now on the wing. Lawson Rice rolled an ankle, but Lawson Rice trying to get back on defense here. They get it into Dejima who loses it out of bounds. He tweaked it, I'm afraid, Lawson. He, he's, he did something. He came down on somebody's ankle. It Turnover, is. it's Bears ball, but I don't think Lawson's at 100%. No, that's exactly right, Coach, but Lawson Rice obviously not going to come out of this game. Bears with the ball, down that's by Price. six. Price now brings it across. Just being hassled by Chautauqua, and they're going to get him for a foul. They're going to say he... Getting a little physical there, pushing Ty yeah. Price back over the line. Yeah, and we've seen it all. Again, the hand checking and the physicality by both teams has been there. You, they let you play in the state tournament, folks. And again, been a very aggressive game. Man to man defense has been amazing by both teams. Briar Griffin now at the top of the key. 220 left to play in the game. Trying to get Lawson Rice open. Briar Griffin on the drive, goes up for two, can't get it to go. Rebound to Jima. He gets it over to Tilly. Tilly now will bring it across. Kicks it in the corner to White. White jab step. Trying to hit Doer on the cut instead. Goes to Dejima up top. Hands it off to Tilly. We've got to get the ball back. 2-10 left to play in the game. We've got to come out and get him. Still 53-59. Doer on the wing. Trying to split the defense here. Goes up against Rice. Goes up for two and gets it to go. And just yet another aggressive take there by Doer. 61-53. Bears trail by eight. Ty Price brings it across. Drives in now. Kicks it out to Castlin. A huge three-pointer is on its way. And he gets another one to go. Coach, another Kentucky Farm Bureau. Agent Bobby Smith three-pointer. An immediate full timeout by Coach Dockery. And uh, those two three-pointers, Coach, have really kept the Bears in this game. And we'll Threes right will get here. you back in the game and get you back in the quake. What a clutch three by Justin Castlin. He's got full two in the fourth quarter. Bears trail 61-56, full timeout, like you said, Jonah. Plenty to talk about. We'll keep it here. 152 left to play. What do the Bears need to do? Down by and, five. And, and, you know, it, it's been like this all game, Coach. The Bears will be down by that 10-point, 9-point mark, crawl their way back into it. And I don't, I don't see the Bears for any reason not being able to do that again. But the biggest thing that I'm thinking, Coach, is whenever the Bears do go on those scoring runs, and I think that's why Cal Coach Calvin Ducker called that timeout. When we make those big plays, those big end ones, or those big threes, we struggle to get back on the defensive side and allow Evangel Christian to go on those big scoring runs. So that's why I like that timeout. So the Bears got to come out, have to get a stop on this possession, not the next possession, this possession. Only a minute 52 to go here, Coach. And as we know, in high school basketball, no shot clock. That's not a lot of time at all for the Bears to make their move, which they have to make soon here. 61-56. I look for the Bears once again. Uh, you want to get the ball to Lawson Rice. you got to hope that that ankle's fine. Uh, obviously going to just tie that shoe on, that shoe on tight and uh, keep him out there. Uh, but like I said, Coach, all the open looks right now coming from Castlin and DeWeese on the outside as now – it looks like we're going to pick it. We're going to pick it up full court pressure. Evangel Christian will bring the ball full court. But again, we got two deep. Need help maybe in the back court. Bears will have to retreat quickly if there is a full court pass made. 152 left to play, coach. Bears down by five. As we're set to go here, 56 61, a minute 52 to go there. Evangel Christian set to inbound. We're doubling both guards up front. They may try to go long with the ball. Here we go. 152 left to play, folks. Glad you could be with us today. White set to inbound here, running the baseline He's having here. trouble getting it in. He gets it into Doer. Doer now, and Doer give him the Oscar. Don't know how Ty Price grabbing his arm affected his head. But either way, there was a foul there by Ty Price. You got to think the Bears already going to the intentional foul that will send Doer to the free throw line. Door averaging 17 points on the season for Evangel Christian. We'll go to the line. Again, the 6-3 senior, 500 points on the season. Averaging 17 a game. Puts up his first free throw, and it is good. He's pretty much took over as far as Evangel Christian. 2-4-6, that's his eighth point of the quarter. And Doer now lining up for his second free throw attempt here. It's up, and it is also good. 63-56. 
Evangel Christian still going with that full court press. Top Price going to bring it across here. Once again, just picked up by Chatapa immediately. 145 left in the game. Bears for three. Fires the three ball. Top Price, no good. Rebound, Doer. And Doer works it way ahead. Got the breakaway to layup. Chatapa. And Chatapa gets the lay-in to go. And you can see it dwindling away. Bears still not losing focus here. Lawson Rice will bring it across this time. Gets it over to Deweese. Deweese inside to Rice. Spin move. Goes up for two. Gets blocked. Put back by Deweese. Is no good, but there is a foul call. Foul is on number 11, Chitapa. That will send Trevor Deweese to the final finish free throw line for two shots. Evangel hits coach screaming not let 24 have the ball. They know exactly who. <laughs> they knew their game plan coming into this game, coach. And, yes, sir. Uh, they've executed it very well as Trevor Deweese no good on the first free throw attempt. Nine point deficit now, a minute 25 to go. Uh, three point shot, like we said, coach, has not been working the way you want it to, but at this point in the game, that's almost your only hope uh, coming down the stretch here. If you are the Bears, Trevor Deweese, second free throw attempt up, no good, rebound, Evangel Christian, foul immediately. It'll be on Briar Griffin. Bears trail 65-56, 123 left to play in the game. Looks like Evangel Christian's gonna go the other end to shoot free throws. And Mukati already set to check in for Dejima. This foul does send, I believe, number 11, Chitapa, to the free throw line. And again, folks, the story of the game, Ty Price has not hit a three, has not he really been given a chance to set his feet and knock those threes down. And, and of course, uh, Ty averaging 29 points on the season. Chitapa's first free throw attempt is up, and it is good. Coach, that is killer, taking the lead from yeah. the from 9 to 10. 123 left to play. Bears trail by 10, like you said, Jonah. Again, it, it, the threes are the only way we can claw back in this. So you go to Castlin or, or go back to Ty. Something's got to start falling. Looks like Evangel Christian may take a timeout. Nope. No good this on the second, second free one. throw attempt. We get it to Ty Price. Ty Price brings it across, loses his step here. We're going to get a foul on somebody tripping. Great show of sportsmanship there as Doer set to help up Ty Price immediately. Okay, and then the foul is on four, Mukata. He's third, Mukati is third. 118 left to play, Bears trail by 10. Sends Ty Price to the final finish free throw line here. Uh, need to knock both of these down and then get an early stop here if you are the Bears. A minute 18 to go, it's not over yet. The Butler County Board of Education fourth quarter of play. Still a lot of time on the clock. And Ty Price at the final finish free throw line. Puts up the first attempt and it is good. Ty's first point of the quarter. Tajima checking in for Mukati. With a big free throw, had to knock it down. Every point is important. We got to get back, got to get some steals. Bears trail 66 57, 118 left to play in the game. Ty prepares to attempt a second free throw. Second free throw attempt is up, and it is also good. 58 66 is your score. A minute 18 to go here. Evangel Christian got to go full length of the court. Full court press brought by the Bears. They get it into Tilly. Tilly immediately fouled by Briar Griffin. Good job by Briar. He did a Put great off. job there cutting off the passing lane, but they oh, were able to get the ball in, and great job fouling immediately. Only two seconds off the clock there, Coach. Uh, you really just got to hope that they make a mistake at the free throw line at this point in the game. 116 left to play. Evangel Christian at the other end now will shoot the free throws. This does send Kyron Tilly to the free throw line for two shots. Puts up his first. No good. Big miss there. Even if he does make the second, it would only be a nine-point lead now. Bears, you got to hope for a three-point shot on the other end, like we said. But first, you got to corral this rebound if there is a miss. As Tilly now at the line puts up his second free throw attempt, and that one is good, however. 67-58 now. Ty Price already on the other side. Got to happen stop. fast. Three-pointer from the top of the key. Can't no get good. it to go. Rebound Tilly. Vandal Christian going the other way with it. Tilly brings it across. Full court to Chitapa. Great bounce pass to White. White goes up and gets the lay-in to go. We're under a minute. Under a minute to go now. Ty Price probably going to fire up another three here. Drives in. Tries to kick it out. Stolen. Ball's by loose. one of the Evangel Christian players. On the floor. And uh, they're going to get Castlin here for a foul here on the dive for the loose ball. A lot of bodies on the floor. We got a cramp. We got Tilly stretching out Doer. 52 seconds left to play. Bears trail by 11. Good, but we got a foul. A good call there by the refs, Coach. You, you hate to see a game like this get more physical than it already is, but the emotions are starting to fly. Uh, obviously, Bears down by 11, 58-69. Uh, with 52 seconds left. Uh, not over yet as we're still trying to get this cramp 
I believe, as Trice will check in for Doer. Yeah, it, it appears to um, be. It, it looked like a cramp at first, but Doer's still on the ground. Now, Coach, I believe Doer was the one who was fouled. So, in I believe the rule is in the event yeah, that he is Yeah, he's still cramped up. I can see it from here. Yeah, his, his, oh, gosh. And I'm, I'm not, I'm not uh, folks, I'm not laughing, but, again, his right calf, it looks like an apple it, uh, yes. that's about to jump out of his calf. He, he simply crapped up. He is, Coach, yeah. and he's played a great game, like we said. Uh, um, they took the points off of the scoreboard, uh, but he's definitely been the main scoring attack, main ball handler uh, for the Eagles in the second half, and he's done a great job on the defensive end, too. Great game from him, no doubt, and uh, hopefully we can get this uh, situation sorted out and get him to the free throw line here. Again, Bears trail by 11. Evangel Christian, 69. Butler County, 58. First round action, UK Healthcare Boys Sweet 16 tournament this Friday. Again, this has been, regardless, this has been history. Uh, no seniors on this team, uh, Jonah. And of course, you, you're well aware of that. Uh, again, it, it, it's, been a, it's been a great season. Uh, they have advanced. Again, the schedule that they played uh, allowed them to get them through, to run through the district and the region. Again, you know, uh, regardless of how this turns out here in the next uh, 52 seconds, and it doesn't look good right now, uh, this is where Owensboro Catholic, this is where Owensboro Senior and Ohio County imagined themselves being. Right. Uh, again, I saw where, and again, you do things and you prepare. I saw where Ohio County also had a, a, a spot uh, set up because, again, in anticipation, you want to have media coverage and have it ready. But, uh, but again, it, it's just been a great effort by the Bears this year. Uh, and while we're doing that, I, I want to, I want to give a shout out to the to the underclassmen because every every day you've got to have practice squad players. Uh, Case Hooten, Curtis Murphy, Jet Johnson, Carson Davis, Nicholas Francisco, and Kane Vincent or Kane and Vincent. Kane and Vincent. Kane and, you know, those guys uh, have put in a lot of, of unseen hours and uh, and again uh, they practice every day just like our starters do. So uh, great job to you guys again. Kay Suit and Curtis Murphy, Jet Johnson, Carson Davis, uh, Kane and Vincent, and Nicholas Francisco for going against our starters because, uh, you know, it takes everybody at practice exactly to make you right, better. Coach. And so that will send Trice will shoot the free throws for or on Doer's behalf as he has to take a trip to the sideline. Uh, still a little shaken up there as now Trice has two free throw attempts here. First is up and it is good. 78-58, 12 point deficit here. Gonna have to have a flurry of threes by the Bears if they want a chance here. Down by 12. Trice's second is up and it is good. 71-58, yeah. under a minute here. Bears will probably fire up some three point shots, but it's all but over. Briar Griffin puts it up, no good. Rebound chased down by Mukati. Evangel Christian with the ball. Over to White. We're under 40 seconds. And we'll see Bears still playing some tough defense here. They get it over to Tilly. And Bears still wanting a, a steal, not quite fouling, as White gets it over to Trice. No reason for Evangel Christian to shoot, and they have no intention Trice of shooting. Trice to Tilly. We're under to 25 White. seconds. Inside to Trice. Trice back outside to Chitapa. Under 20 now. That'll do it, folks, as uh, it looks like they're just going to let them kind of move the ball. No, steal by Cat or by DeWeese up to Price for three. Price still can't get one to go. Rebound Lawson Rice. He goes up for two. And Rice gets it to go, just making the scoreboard look a little nicer for us. 60 to 71. The Butler County Bears fall the end of a historic season for the Butler County Bears uh, at the first round of the Sweet 16 tournament. We'll recap everything that went on in the post-game show brought to you by the Dairy Queen of Beaver Dam. Keep it right here on WLBQ. They need good leaders. Point guards and quarterbacks call the right plays to put their teammates in position to score and lead their teams to victory. Kendall Embry at Embry & Watts CPAs wants to be your team leader when it comes to business and personal accounting services. Kendall is ready to call the right plays to keep you compliant with the IRS and keep some of your hard-earned money in your pocket. Tax season is right around the corner, so stop by his office on Main Street in Morgantown today. 
Looking for something to give you that pick-me-up in the morning? What about a filling dinner? You should head to Hardy's in Morgantown. They have everything you need when it comes to breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They have fluffy biscuits, crunchy hash rounds, mouth-watering burgers, tacos, burritos, fried chicken tenders, ice cream, and many more delicious items. You can have a great dinner before cheering on the sports teams of Butler County. Their friendly and talented staff will make sure your order is fresh and filling. Located on Veterans Way, Hardy's, where the food's the star. It's hoop season, and it's time to get out and support your Bears and Lady Bears. Warren RECC was started right here in South Central Kentucky and is still run by local folks you know and trust. That's the cooperative difference. We're proud of our hometown roots and our hometown team, and we're honored to support our local athletes. To learn more about Warren RECC, visit WRECC.com. For more than 50 years, the Farm Boy has been a staple of the Morgantown community. Not only is it the premier spot for down-home country cooking, but it's the best place to catch up on all the local happenings with good friends and family. Daily specials are always available, including all-you-can-eat Catfish Fridays. If you're looking for the best down-home country-style meal this side of the Green River, visit the Farm Boy today. Located at 635 West G.L. Smith Street in Morgantown. The Farm Boy is now open on Sundays from 5 a.m. to 3 p.m. Help keep Butler County beautiful by using the recycling trailers provided by the Butler County Recycling Center. The trailers are conveniently located throughout the county to make recycling easy. Find trailers at North Butler Elementary, Morgantown Elementary, Hoods Market, VFW, Rochester Post Office and Fire Department, Salem Baptist Church, and the Provo Community Center. Let's all do our part to keep Butler County beautiful by using the recycling bins provided by the Butler County Recycling Center. It's easy being green. Reduce, reuse, recycle. When you do, we all win. Prearranging your funeral takes a great deal of stress off of your loved ones. By prearranging, when a family comes in, the only decision they have to make is what time do we want visitation or what time do we want the funeral? Because mom or dad has already made all the other decisions. Also, prearranging can take the financial burden off of your family and allows them to rest easy, knowing that as an expression of love, you did this for them. This is Penny Lee at Smith Funeral Home. Stop by or call me at 270-526-3532 and let me help you decide what works best for you and your needs. Smith Funeral Home, part of your family's tradition since 1886. When you have vending needs, you need to call Double E Vending. They're family owned and locally owned, full service vending company. They established themselves in 1972 to offer their vending services to the community. Whatever vending service is required, Double E has a full line to cover anything you could want. Give them a call at 270 791 5414 to see how they can service you today. 270 791 5414. Double E wants to thank their customers for using them for the last 50 years. Your State Farm Insurance agent, Baker Gardner, is ready for another season of VCHS Sports. Baker is also ready to help you with insurance for your home, car, or life. Affordable, reliable insurance from State Farm is backed by one of America's most trusted names. With hometown service always just a phone call away. Good luck, Bears. And remember, like a good neighbor, Baker Gardner is there. Give Baker Gardner and his staff a visit at 219 South Main Street in front of the post office or give them a call at 270-526-5582. With three kids, a husband, a full-time job, and a side photography business to run, Christy doesn't spend much time thinking about insurance. But when a loose hubcap comes bouncing toward her minivan and puts a nasty dent in the hood, that's when Christy is glad she's insured with Kentucky Farm Bureau. Because it's not just Kentucky's Farm Bureau, it's Christy's there when you need them Farm Bureau. Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance. Big on commitment. Parkway Cars and Tires is the whole price leader in this area. If you find a better price, let us know. We'll be it. That's simple. For over 30 years of experience, our multiple distributors allow us to be your number one tire store in the area. We always give free rotation and balance of every purchase. Not only tires, but we do brakes, alignments, and much more for all your service needs. As always, honesty is our policy. Schedule an appointment at 270-526-5732. Thank you, and God bless.
Welcome back to Rupp Arena as the Bears fall to the Evangel Christian Eagles, 71 to 60 at the close of the fourth quarter play brought to you by Chad's, or I'm sorry, by the Butler County Board of Education. Now, Jonah, we've got a lot of things to go over. We'll make this, uh, we'll make this Dairy Queen of Beaver Day and post game show um, pretty short. I know we have to clear out so that they can get set for the next uh, next round of games. So um, we're just going to start with some scoring and. and um, Jonah, I'll let you kind of start out with that uh, first for Evangel Christian. Yeah, for Evangel Christian, uh, number one, Johnny Dejima with one. Uh, number three, Braden Trice with four. Uh, number four, Ben Mukati with eight. Uh, number five, Kyron Tilly with nine. Number 11, Isaiah Chitapa with 10. Number 23, Davier White with 18. And number two, Christian Doyer with 21. Most of those coming in the second half. And for the Bears, uh, Number three, Clayton DeWeese got some playing time off the bench, didn't get any points. Uh, number 15, Briar Griffin with four. Number two, Trevor DeWeese with nine. Uh, number 22, Ty Price with 12. Number 11, Justin Castlin with 16. And number 24, uh, your IGA hometown player of the game, Lawson Rice with 19 points. And uh, he is your hometown player of the game, obviously leading us in scoring, uh, but on the defensive side as well. We knew the attack of Mukadi and Dajima would be an issue, but Lawson Rice did a good job holding his own down there as well. Uh, so, but other than that, uh, not a whole lot you can say to this game. The Bears fought hard to the final buzzer. They were, they were still trying to get that steal in the last few seconds, even though uh, the game was uh, all but over. But they just uh, they got behind early, and uh, they every time they tried to claw their way back in, uh, Evangel Christian did a great job answering on the offensive side, and the Bears really just never had an answer on the defense. Well, yeah, well, like I said, and the breakout, and thanks to the KHSAA also for those extensive stats. Looks like for the game, Evangel Christian had 14 fast break opportunities. They shot 50% from the floor the entire game, uh, 27 of 54, 60% uh, from the free throw line, um, 12 of 20. Uh, again, it's just a, a very athletic team. Uh, I don't know who they'll be playing tomorrow night. Uh, they will advance to the next round. They'll either be playing Louisville Trinity or Pulaski, Pulaski County. County. Uh, but again, uh, we talked about it, uh, uh, Noah and, and Jonah. Uh, not a senior on this team, so a lot to look forward to. I expect another invite back to the King of the Bluegrass right. uh, in December of next year. And uh, But again, there's no guarantee you can get back here. You've got to enjoy the moment. And again, it was such a pleasure to be with you guys this year and work with you. Uh, I know using a football phrase, Dan Marino went to a, a Super Bowl early in his career, never got back. And again, but I, I don't see that happening. I think exactly these, right. I think these seniors are going to work hard. I our juniors are going to work hard. I think they're going to improve. And I hope we're back here next year during March Madness. Right. right. And like you said, Coach, it's been a great season calling games with both of y'all. Uh, Parker Smith obviously did a lot of the games, and Nick Hot has been uh, – pulling strings in the background whenever he's not out there calling games. So just uh, I've appreciated all the time I've got to spend with our uh, lovely broadcast crew, and hopefully all of the listeners out there have uh, uh, at least bared with us a little bit as we've bring them the action this season, Brady. You know, and I couldn't have said it better myself. What a season it's been. History's been made, and I tell you, just as uh, fresh off being a student, this is my first year, of course, out, I, it's been an honor and a privilege to come back and do and broadcast this season as much as I've been able to. The Bears are a fantastic team to watch. Congratulations to these men for their appearance here tonight. They made history. The community made history. It, and that's never going to be forgotten. So thank you to all the folks who tuned in with us all year. Uh, we, we, can't, we can't tell you how much we appreciate it. It's, uh, it's the support that you've shown for this team, for this broadcast team as we've gone throughout the year. Congratulations again to the Bears. Jonah, take us out. Well, I think that's going to do it. Once again, I want to give one more big shout out to all of our lovely sponsors. They've stuck with us all year and all of the Bears faithful. Once again, Brady did a great job. But once again, uh, just keep it right here on WLBQ and uh, good night.